looks like we're good. We're I good? Think. Yes. Hello. Hi, Hi, everyone. I was trying to pull it up on my phone, too, so I can. Yeah, yeah, good idea. Um, welcome. We have Rudy here from uh, Time to Musk mm. Up. Hey, Rudy. Welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Um, yeah, this fine Sunday morning slash afternoon, depending on where you are at. Mm -hmm. It's a little gloomy um, out here, but I got my ring light, so it looks sunny. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's really nice and bright here today. Very mild winter wear. I hate it here. I like winter, but this, yeah. uh, this winter in Houston, is it never came. We right. have like two days so far that it's been like kind of yeah. cold where you need a, a hoodie and that's it. And I'm, I hate it, I hate it so much. <laughs> I know it got, it got pretty chilly for a little bit. I mean, for Florida, right? Like it got yeah. like in the third, like 39, I think was the lowest it got a couple of rings ago. Yeah. It, it only lasts for like two days and then it's gone. Yeah. I mean, I, don't know. I just wish it was. I know it would be cool. Cool. Cause I, I have, I have so many cute sweaters that I've accumulated <laughs> from like when I lived overseas and now they just sit here. Just yeah. La last here. night I wore my anorak. I'm like, this it's a, I bought it last year. It's the first time I'm wearing it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's, it sucks. It sucks. Okay. We, we some people here. Hi, D'Angelo. It's probably too soon. You probably haven't received your samples yet. Oh yeah, for the the uh, boy, broken, broken anatomy. Let us know how you feel about them, D'Angelo. Mm -hmm. Hi, Rudy. Oh, he's going to run. Yes, sure, sure. <laughs> Feel free to chime <laughs> in while you're running, but don't just don't. Fall. I guess we got to be upbeat so you can have yeah. something to run to. No, I don't know if we can do that. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Michelle. How are you? Welcome. Let's see. Here we go. We got Shannon in the building. Hi. How are you? Thank you so much for coming by. We appreciate you. We got Jay Holloway. Welcome, Jay. Oh, look at everybody. Yay. We got Daphne, the other Hi. The of the Broken Anatomy. Yes. Set, right? She was as well. She's yes. um, out of the country, okay. so it might take a little while for hers to get there. Okay. Okay. Well, when you get them, Make yeah, sure you let us know what you think about it. Let them. us know. Oh, really? I think I sent you a charade. Can you check the samples I gave you? Because I think, I think charade was in there. I feel like um, Michelle will appreciate I, a lot of these I, I do too. Yeah. yeah. I feel like she's going to fall in love with charade. I think so. I think so. This is probably a bad idea. I put hemp seeds in my matcha and I'm going to have them all in my teeth. <laughs> It's okay. If I see them, I'll let you know. <laughs> hey, it's Breakhaven. Hey, Breakhaven. What's up? How are you? Oh. I used your soap this morning. Yeah. Very nice. I have it downstairs in the guest room because it looks beautiful on my counter. It's gorgeous. Yeah. I, I bought two. So one for me to just keep because it's so pretty and one that I'm actually using. So the one that I'm keeping for its visual effect, I'm not, I'm never using. So right. that one's just <laughs> Hey Joyce, welcome. Thank you so much for being here all the way from the UK. Uh, Sarah's here. Hi Sarah. Yeah, hi Sarah, thank you for coming. Yes, so if you guys know we're doing, yeah, we're doing Sarah Baker fragrances today, mm -hmm. um, which is exciting because both Maite and I are huge fans. That's and right. yeah, so this is kind of one that we knew we were going to be doing from the beginning, right when we started doing this uh, indie fragrance corner. So it's exciting. And we have some news yes. later on, so stay tuned for that. Yes. So make sure you, you keep on watching. It's exciting. <laughs> they probably can guess based on the other <laughs> ones we've done so far. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, Germany. I just haven't been to Germany. It'll be worth the wait. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, he's on a treadmill. Okay. Oh yeah, Rudy's in New York, so oh. he's experiencing a different kind of weather than we are here in the south. That's crazy. Yeah, I've heard about the snowstorm. Yeah, yeah. Sarah, you should. It smells so nice, and it's so pretty. So mm -hmm. you can get like a second one just for display because it has like gold flakes. Uh, yeah. Where is mine? Mine is. Oh, it's over there. I can't really grab it. But I'm waiting for him to make some updates. So I'm gonna. Um, 
just because I, I wanted a little bit more moisturizing effect. Yeah, yeah. About that and he's going to do his thing. I know. Yeah. I also want the fragrance to be stronger. Mm -hmm. I want to fill the bathroom, but it is really pleasant. I love the idea. So I can't wait to see how everything evolves. Yes. Hi, Cheryl. Welcome. Thank you for being Hi. here. Um, yes. Did you get yours, Jay? Fruit. I love the name. It's so adorable. Yeah. The mm -hmm. bear fruit. It smells yum. I hope you do too. Rudy, have you tried Sarah Baker fragrances? I know you, you know, like to venture into some indie, but let me know. Yeah, um, let me know if you've yeah. tried any. Yeah, anyone who's in the chat, actually, let us know which Sarah Baker fragrance is your favorite if you've experienced them. Um, she has two collections. Her, I guess, would you call it like a signature selection or original collection of I think, I think Yeah, I think one's the X-ray and then this one's- uh, And the signature is a P. Yeah, I guess original collection and then like- The S. Baker. S. Baker, yeah. Which, is there a perfumers for the S. Baker? Yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah. That's the same concept where she has. Exactly. Except she's done two of the yeah, ones. So, really cool. Yeah. <laughs> um, Joyce, yes. Uh, Tencent's here. Hi, Tencent. Welcome. Hi. Okay. And I know you like some funk, Rudy. So. Oh, yeah. These are very, the, some of the funkiest. <laughs> I, I, I had one on my hand. I told I you. Showered. Well, I had my first cup of coffee mm -hmm. and then I went to shower. And it's still in my hand. Yeah, and yeah. I feel like it's gotten much more funky since my um, hand got wet. <laughs> yeah, I still have one that hasn't washed off. So yeah, yeah. you're strong. Charade is one of our faves as well. Mm -hmm. Good, as you will find out. Yes, lace. Um, I think lace is also a very popular one, and I can totally see Jay rocking that. Mm -hmm. I think it's probably the most crowd pleasing one. I think so. Mm -hmm. I think so. that one. Well, we'll get to it. We'll get to it. <laughs> <laughs> We're still saying yes. oh. Miguel mm -hmm. has made a few of them. Uh, uh, Andre Wilhelm, um, Sarah McCartney. Yes. Uh, who do we have? Uh, Andreas Willem, who is the nose behind Charade. We have uh, Ashley Eden Kessler. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we'll, we'll get to them as we talk about it. Spicy looks is your hey Nisha girl. Hey, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Okay, so Daphne has um experience mm -hmm. with um yes so charade was attracted and jungle Jezebel is not for the faint hearted. No, yeah. Oh, we'll get to it because I feel like I have a special not a special relationship, but my feelings about that particular phrase fragrance is so like mixed and it drives me crazy. Yeah, I think that's part of it, though. It's just yeah. out there, just like the inspiration behind it. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay, so Michelle found her. Ooh, so sniff it. <laughs> Mario's here. Hi, Mario. Welcome to the party. Uh, doing Sarah Baker fragrances. So, um, yeah, I guess we have 15 people here, it looks like. Hello, 15 um, people. Yes, thank you. Uh, be sure to say hi, you know. Don't don't be tell us what you're wearing. What's your scent of the day? What's your scent? Are you well you're wearing a little bit of everything, right? A little bit no, of I actually put on uh far from the matting crown as my scent. I took I, I did that before I took a shower, but mm -hmm. some of them still stayed on my skin. Mm -hmm. So I have that one on this hand. I also sprayed it on this. So when I woke up this morning mm -hmm. for my coffee, morning my first cup of coffee, mm -hmm. I had um Rules of Attraction here and uh, Far From the Madden Crowd here. Mm -hmm. And yes, I feel like, rule, I feel like uh, Far From the Madden Crowd would be one that's... It's nice. Yeah, yes. Where do you want to start? Um, you want to do like we normally do, less less fave to most fave? Yeah, we can do that. Which collection did we say? Are we going to start with the yeah. original? Yes, so the extra the parfum. You have a bottle. I don't have a bottle. You know, oh, they're gorgeous. I want a bottle so bad, but I haven't gotten one because I I can't have. I'm not letting myself buy the whole collection, I and I need, I'm still having a hard time figuring out which one I want. It may be right. two, but you know, I got to be ready for that. Yeah. Um, so there's also some of these are in like limited edition bottles, yes. like um, Jungle Jezebel is. It's really cute. It's inspired by the um, by the drag queen. Um, <laughs> hello, but the bottles are gorgeous. 
gorgeous, gorgeous. They're very heavy duty. The cap is super heavy. Yes. Let me see. There we go. Oh, this is a good one. Oh, speaking of, I wore her um, last week and I, every time I wear it, I just. Yeah. Well, um, <laughs> yeah, Sam from My World of Fragrances says there must be crack in it. And I agree. Yeah. I have to sniff it every time. Every time I'm standing there, I pick it up and I sniff it. <laughs> like, just put it down. But, and it lasts so long and it's so affordable. I don't understand why people aren't into scent trunk. I have like mm -hmm. six fragrances from them now. And I have the Chevalier co collaboration, uh, PM what? fragrance on the way. Oh, well, I can't. Yeah. I want to hear what you think of it before I. Yeah. I blind by them. So, because they are so inexpensive. Like I just blind by yeah. them. Same. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, let's, uh, okay, here we go. I need to revisit that one. I think I have a sample somewhere. Oh, Shaper Palatine is everything I love. Have you tried Shaper Palatine? I have, I have. I wasn't that moved, but it oh. is nice. <laughs> I have, I have a sample of it still. I, I, <laughs> I'm going to wear it again. I'm going to, I wasn't like, wow. Like I expected to be like that. <laughs> No, and yeah. I wasn't super wild. Okay, fine. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Uh, that's wearing rules of attraction. Okay. Maybe. Okay. Okay. Nice. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> let's, let's, so the bottles are really nice. I know a lot of mm -hmm. thought and design went into the bottle. Um, Sarah's okay. talked about it a couple of times. Yes. Um, but yeah. So beautiful. Yes. So sunny. Yeah, such a cheer. It is, yeah. Yeah. And um yeah, I don't I I I I feel like it's so it's so heavy. You could hurt somebody with this. <laughs> it's heavy. I love it. I love the color. That color is everything. Yeah. Yeah. I want my nails that color. That might be a good nail color. Yeah. It would, it would be actually like a like a what is it? Like a bronzed orange? Yeah. Like a burnt orange? Yeah. Like a Burnt, yeah. Palaki, yeah. Is there is is there a name to this color, Sarah? If you're watching, <laughs> so you can uh, find a nail polish that is similar to that, or maybe you can make a nail polish that's oh that yeah, color, Sarah. <laughs> my <diet. laughs> yeah, I yeah, I think right. Anyway, my Ooh, is terrible. Okay, so I think we should go ahead and get started. On uh, we have twenty people in now, so. <laughs> Go. Uh, which one do you want to start off with? I'll let um, you. Know. We're doing the original collection. Okay, yeah. so we'll, I don't. I don't have them all, but I did sample them. It's actually my first full house review video here on YouTube. Uh, a while back, more than a year ago now. Um, so I don't have all of them, but I did take notes, and um, so I know which one was like my least favorite and my most favorite. Oh wait, um, um, um where did this comment come from? The one that's on the screen. <laughs> oh, I think I clicked it accidentally. Okay. Nice. Did I uh, probably did, but I can't find it. Anyway, it's oh, interesting. Oh, but yeah. By the way. Internation, Internation Orange. Okay. Yes. And uh, good job, Mari. Mari, that's my favorite fragrance. So the same yeah. nice one. I just got the Sublime Oil to go along with it. Oh, it's mm -hmm. so Sublime Oil as well, my I'm too. like dousing myself <laughs> in it. I put it in my hair. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just beautiful. Um, all right, I keep interrupting. I think I'm too excited. I'm I know. on We're trying to different yeah. tangents. <laughs> yeah, I know. There's some good sense of the days in here. Oh, I think you 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 yeah saw that one. I'm all over the place. Michelle, yeah, that's you know. kind of on brand for us, right? We're always right. all over the place. <laughs> Hot mess express. <laughs> exactly. Hey, it's called Internation Orange. Yeah, I'm gonna remember that. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's like a metal. It's like a like a metallic effect. It's so yeah, cool. I love it. I love this bottle. Um, and we have Foreigner here. Hi, welcome. Mm -hmm. What's your set of the day? Uh, we're just about to get started. Finally, after 15 minutes of rambling. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So so let's let's see. Hmm. Pick which one. You you pick the first one. Okay. Um. Let's pick. Let's pick rules of attraction. Okay. Uh, 
that's what Daphne's wearing. And that's, I still have remnants of that on my hand, even after showering. So, <laughs> well, hold, so what I wrote down, well, what does it smell like now? Well, the, I, this is, I actually sprayed this last night. Okay. Um, but, and I wrote notes just so I can at least have my thoughts in order because y'all know how I am. So for me, I really like uh, Rules of Attraction. There's just, it has iris in it and it's something that I could smell right away. Mm -hmm. um, it has, I think it's iris or violet, but something that gives me like a oh, slight really? lipsticky, like a, like a lipsticky vibe to it. Yeah. Um, it's basically an end endolic white floral. Um, I can't remember if it's tuberose or jasmine, probably a combination of the two. Um, mm -hmm. But if you guys know me, you guys Perfect. know like, endolic florals. Um, so I think it's, it's really nice. It's just that iris is just, I'll be smelling it and I'm like, oh, it's so good. And then I get the lipsticky and I, you guys know how I, I'm like, I don't like lipsticky notes mm -hmm. or lipsticky iris. I've come to learn. Um, I saw that it has aldehydes in it, but to me, I feel like the aldehydes are very subtle. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you're partial to aldehydes, I don't think this is one that will be challenging for you at all. Um, but overall, I feel like it's a super sexy fragrance. Um, like I said, the iris is a bit forward for me. Um, and I think because of the indoles and it has cumin, mm -hmm. it has that musk leather. It's very, like I said, very sexy, kind of like, like erotic. It's like, yeah. It's, and I, I keep all, I keep wanting to smell it. Like I'm always like, mm, mm, it smells good. And I think this is one that I'll end up getting because I think I like the endolic floral animalic mm -hmm. vibe that I get over the slight lipsticky iris. I feel like I can get over it because I do really love that endolic animalic floral vibe that I get from here. What I love about these is that they change so yes. much. Yeah, from the first spray to you know the total dry down, they they completely change, and mm -hmm. um, there's so many like different facets. What I wrote down, I wrote down um, that I got Chanel number no. five vibes. Okay, yeah, I, that's what I got. It's a powdery mm -hmm. coral. I got something licoricey. Um, it's a little woody. There's a citrusy like undertone. So there's like um, something like citrusy in it. Um, mm -hmm. And the notes are, yeah, like you said, cumin, grapefruit, aldehydes, iris, gardenia is in there too. Okay. Yeah. And I'm not a huge fan of gardenia. There's also neroli, which I think that's where that brightness, freshness comes from. Yeah. Um, and on me, unfortunately, in the dry down, so I love the opening in the middle, but in the dry down, <laughs> I wrote down ferret. <laughs> because it's just, the civet just like totally took over, yeah. you okay. know, on my skin. And these are fragrances that you have to experience on skin. Absolutely. Um, and yes. Oh, I forgot to mention also um, on the strip, I found it to be more endolic than on my skin. I found that the endols on my skin were a bit more tame. Okay. But after I wore it again, I don't know if it's because I washed my hands. Maybe it kind of pushed it to the dry down really quickly. Right. But it got really like civety. <laughs> animalic. More civety um, than because I think there's a lot of civet in charade, right? Which we'll talk about. But I yes. feel like that's that's very civet heavy. But I can, but I love charade. But for some yeah. reason, the civet in here turns very stinky. You know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because I don't find charade to be super stinky. Well, actually, not stinky at all. It does have a little bit of there's a funk, um, but it's not like yeah, a little bit of funk, but it's not like overpowering as intense as as this one and as intense as jungle jezebel when we get it um get to that but it's also the nose behind, huh the nose behind this one is uh miguel matos mm -hmm. um and he has a very signature style he yeah. loves white florals he loves animalics so mm -hmm. this is typically right oh, miguel which i wasn't surprised when that he did jungle jezebel <laughs> 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 exactly. Um, see. Let me see. You sipping on? Oh, actually, I don't have the thing here, but my friend uh, Mike, who is on in, on uh, well Instagram, yes, and YouTube as Naps and Nurture, 
has, he sells coffee and it's um, a blueberry, Jamaican blueberry cobbler coffee. Um, he sent me a bag mm-hmm. in January and like for free, he's like, oh, just let me know your thoughts or whatever. And mm-hmm. I finished the bag and I ended up ordering a second one, <laughs> or ordering one for myself. Does um, the blueberry really come through? It's more in the scent rather than the flavor, which mm-hmm. I appreciate because I like, I'm a purist when it comes to a lot of things, fragrance, coffee, and I want my coffee to taste like coffee. I don't want it to taste like, you know, a lot of other things. It can have the aroma to kind of enhance the experience, but I don't Mm -hmm. want it to to like taste like coffee. And it doesn't, it it doesn't taste like blueberry, but he said, I don't take sugar or cream in my coffee, but he says when you- um, Just kidding. I used to drink wine like that too. Just black, just straight black. That's how I am. And uh, he says, if you do add like creamer or milk or some sort of sweetener that you do get a bit of the blueberry flavor, but Mm -hmm. I haven't tried it yet. I'm not really, you know, looking to taste that, but I love having that like, Mm -hmm. it kind of reminds me of blueberry pancakes. Okay. And then it's very, very I wonder if he has different flavors. Which one? Does he have different flavors too? No, just that, actually. I wonder if he's working on that, but he only has just this one for now. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah Civet, Civet, Civet can be pretty sexy. Yeah. Very. The first time I tried it, I hated them. Yeah. That's, I, like that's kind of a lot of us. Yeah. We, I think the name is very fitting, you know, like you feel like you're going to attract all the things, not just human beings, maybe some animals as well. <laughs> Yeah, but you wear it for you, girl. I love that you wear it now almost every day because definitely it, it can be one that you would feel self-conscious wearing if you're not comfortable wearing animalics. Right. Uh, but I think once you reach that point of I don't really care. I like it for me. I wear it every day. Yeah. So yeah. And I think these are fragrances like you either love them or you you hate them, you know. I don't they're very polarizing, I think. Yeah. When you find one that's for you, you're gonna like be obsessed. Yes, exactly. Hi, hey, Robert. Welcome, Robert. I I want to. I need to message you. I was watching your videos. Like, la- I didn't go to bed last night until like five. Okay. <laughs> oh no. I don't know what what was wrong with me, but I was just laying in bed. Like, okay, you, you were too excited about our live today. I, I think so. That's probably why. But yeah, I was exactly. watching some of Robert's video, and I was like, I need to message you. I I, I want to do a video with you. So. Hopefully. Oh, interesting. I would want to see that. Very cool. Can't wait. Can't wait. Uh, that's, of course, if he's down. And probably I just said it in public. So on the spot. No, <laughs> you know, you're just going to look bad. <laughs> Who wouldn't want to do a collab with Amina? <laughs> I don't know. Robert's like, I don't know. Even like, I don't know. I feel like I'm kind of new to this. So every time... I want to ask someone, including you, like to do something. I feel oh. like, God, like oh, if they say no, I'm nobody. Like you're everything. I, so you're everything. It's, it's, stop it. First of all, <laughs> not, <laughs> I'm nobody. <laughs> really? I watched, I was watching you before I even started my channel. So you're I don't know, it feels like, yeah, I kind of like a celebrity. Like, no, it's weird. <laughs> right now. <laughs> well, we're friends and stuff, so it's more, you know, relaxed, but I always find that so funny. It's like, oh, we're we're YouTube famous, we're Instagram famous, like <laughs> in like our own teeny tiny little bubble, right? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. But and I like people like PewDiePie who have like bajillions of subscribers. <laughs> Yeah, we're nowhere near that. But I mean, as the more I'm doing this, the more it feels more like a family rather than than anything else. Yeah, and that's how I view it too. I don't. Yeah, I'm not one to like even celebrities. I don't like idolize like people, you know. But I rather have that connection like we have, like that. Like I, I find that pretty cool. So yeah, I yeah. I don't want to be put up on a pedestal. I don't want to like. Well, no. that's. I let me feel so uncomfortable. I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's how it was before. Before I got into it, and then I really got into it and realized, like, oh, we're all like the same people who are mm-hmm. really obsessed with fragrance. You know, we're family, basically. So, yeah. and behind the scenes, I'm a hot mess mom. Got kids running around. I got a full time job. Like, 
<laughs> yeah, we're just regular people with a weird obsession. That's the right. <laughs> Who smell amazing. Hi. Yes. Oh, wait. First bag is always free. Now you're talking about the coffee. Yeah, that's how they get you, Rudy. They just give you something free just to try it. And then before you know, you're hooked. And now I feel like I'm going to be um, ordering it regularly. Michelle had me order from <laughs> in Fairy Club. And they threw in these little wax melts. And I'm obsessed. Oh. I was on an order, like a wax burner. Because I do like, um, what's it called? That <laughs> the essential oil thing. What is that called? Do you know? The essential oil thing? Yeah, like a, uh, where you like, you put the essential oils and it's like the little mist. Oh, uh, 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 hum not a humidifier. No, diffuser. Uh, diffuser, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I do those, but I didn't have like a wax melt thingy. And yeah, now I need one because I'm obsessed with the wax melt that they threw in. I'm like, that's how they get you. They give you free stuff. And you really know it. That's how, I mean, I got the Stora Skugan fragrance yeah. uh, with Cooper, and they added, um, the sample of Thumbsucker, which Michelle already sent, and um, uh, Sulfium, and now I need to have Sulfium. Oh. And I'm hoping when I get Sulfium, they send me samples yeah, of the other. I need, to, I need to test them. That's gonna be yeah. next on the list, yeah. You have, you have to get, like, get the, it's only five fragrances, so I think you can have them. samples. Oh, you yeah. have all of them? Mm -hmm. I have them, yeah, we gotta do it. So, so I'm, gonna get, I'm gonna get the rest of them, and then we can. Um, Yay! Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're yeah. mine. Oh, no, Michelle. Yes, you're girl. totally mine. I can watch it all day. Uh, Never meet your heroes. Oh, people, dis listen. The only thing you can expect is to be disappointed. So, yeah, yeah, that's very true. It is. Yeah, I've I've learned that you know expectations kill uh, dreams. So have no expectations. Just I set them very low. <laughs> No, you be happy <laughs> all the time. I swear to God, I think that's the rule. That's the 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 key to happiness is to yeah. set the bar low. Expectations, yeah. <laughs> Just be disappointed over and over and over again. Right, right. Okay, um, we have another tangent. Life, life lessons with Ramina. Um, <laughs> hey, Sparkly Unicorn, welcome. You got the. Did she loved um? What was it that she say? She told us last time. She was oh, yeah. I can't remember. remember. But mm -hmm. I'm glad you enjoying them. Oh, thank you, Sarah. Oh, thank you, Sarah. I know. Well, we'll get right back into the fragrance. It. <laughs> Let's get back into it. Uh, okay. So the <laughs> we yeah. They do. Yeah, they do have really cute samples. I did they they gave me samples from this other house. Anyways, well, we'll talk about it. Okay. Uh, okay, what else? Next one for me, another one that was like, no way, Jose, like I cannot <laughs> was leopard. Okay. okay. Yeah. I wrote down sour, musky, powdery. Okay. So uh, yeah. A lot of frankincense, a lot of rose for me, a lot of sourness. <laughs> okay. It, it it came on me, it came across as like overworked deodorant. You know, and not the, not the like natural kind, the, the you know, like like I don't know, I don't know. It just it didn't work on me. It didn't work on me at all. I, I was like, no, 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 no. So okay. leopard is a hard pass for me. Yeah. Okay. Well, I um, leopard is one that also I feel like with a lot of Sarah's fragrances, I think when I first sampled them, I don't think I was ready for them. Like, yeah, I don't think I was ready to really understand. Yeah. Uh, I, actually say that. I actually said that in my video, it took me a few months to yeah. actually sit down and be able to, you know, do a video on yeah. them because the first time I saw them, I, I was, I was, I literally wasn't ready. I was like, this is too much. I yeah. can't. Right. Um, so I revisited them a couple months later mm -hmm. and, you know, even a few times actually throughout that time. And then I sat down and did my video because it is, yeah, it, they're so challenging. Yeah. Yeah, and now, I mean, you mentioned that whole deodorant thing and I'm getting it now on paper, but when I first tried this one, Leopard was one of my favorite ones. Okay. Um, and I sampled them on paper. I did a live, an um, Instagram live ages ago. I can't remember when, ages ago, um, on Instagram with Bry Grow, mm -hmm. uh, Bryce, yeah, he's not here now, but Leopard was the one that I was like, oh, I think this is me. And based on the note breakdown, what are the notes? It's, it's um, something I would love. I think it has cardamom. Um, has pivot. 
Um, okay. Uh, there is frankincense, black pepper, cardamom, galbanum, uh, casis, rose, violet, sandalwood, patchouli, vetiver, labdanum, cedalux, castorium, beeswax, cashmere, and musk. Yeah. Yeah. So on paper, I was like, yeah. And even when I bought the sample set, I almost blind bought leopard with the sample set because I'm like, I really want a bottle. But then something told me, okay, chill out. Don't blind buy it. Get the sample set just by itself and then you can decide. Um, so yeah, on paper, I thought I really liked it. And then when I had the opportunity to try it on skin, that's when I realized I don't think this is for me because on my skin, and this is just my skin. I don't know if other people experienced it, but it kind of turned a little bit sour. It turned a bit musty. Yeah. And I, I even started like, thinking like, did I put deodorant on? You know, right. like, I would catch whiffs of it. And I'm like, wait. Yeah, wait. it's that sourness. I yeah. Mm -hmm. Kind of like you had, like you wore a very weak deodorant and you were out like working mm -hmm. and the deodorant just broke. Like it couldn't <laughs> handle it anymore. <laughs> We've all had that happen to us. <laughs> yeah. So it's a very familiar, you know, scent. Right. Right. Um, I can see how people would love this. And like I said, I liked this when I first tried it. But after spending more time with it, especially on skin, it just turned a little bit left for me. So Leopard went from being my favorite or to what I, from what I thought was going to be my favorite to not so much. Okay. Um. So, but Leopard is definitely interesting. Yeah. Um, but just not for, I guess not for you, not for me. Yeah, so not for us, not for us. But if you've tried leopard and love it, let us know. Yeah, yeah. Hi, Eve. Hi. Hello. Welcome. Hope you're doing well. Today we seem to be going off on tangents, so be ready. Yeah, this is the ride. Forever. <laughs> I already know it's going to take forever. <laughs> oh, who wants to eat it? everything it is good yeah. okay so foreigner likes leopard foreigner does yeah. it have anything to do with your name for i think he said he was or he or she said that they were wearing uh jungle jezebel today oh so I too listen I, I i think if you like jungle jezebel then you may like leopard as well yeah 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 okay so eve said had a has a comment saying oh it has all the notes that i like that's what i thought yes yeah. and then but maybe it could be different on your skin, though. Yeah, it could be. I think you have to try them. You have yeah. to try them. And on paper, it's, it's still nice. Like I like it. It's yeah. just on skin. It just it turns on my skin. Well, the animalic notes really like do things on the skin. Yeah. You know, they're either gonna like be great or yeah, turn left quickly. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's leopard. <laughs> All right, who else do we want to do? Um, we can do... Greek keys. Yeah, let's do Greek keys. I have Greek keys here. So that, that'll that be our um kind of bottom three, I think. Okay. Well, what? I don't know. What do you think about Greek keys? I actually like Greek keys. Okay. Um, yeah, I, did, I think, yeah, I did. I put that I did too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it doesn't have to be in any order. We'll just go That's randomly. We're, yeah, we're all over the place anyway, so... Mm -hmm. I wrote down bright, fresh, juicy, lightly peppered citrus. Okay. So and a little bit on the masculine side. Like it leans a I bit. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Okay. So I have written, and oh, we didn't say the perfumer behind Leopard is oh, Ashley Kessler. Yes. Who is also the nose behind Greek Keys, the one we're talking about. Okay. Now. Yeah. Um, so, it's so like interesting to see how, like, how differently. You know, these smell, it just yeah. goes to show how amazing these perfumers are. Exactly. Like the two um, Ashley Kessler one don't smell anything. Yeah. yeah, they're yeah. so different. So, yeah, that's really good. Um, for me, I have, when I like, I usually have like, like bullet points mm -hmm. and then I summarize kind of everything here. So, so for, organized. well, I mean, it's not really. Oh, wow. <laughs> I can understand it. Yeah, I, that's all that matters. As long as you can understand it, it's cool. I'm, um, sniffing, I'm sniffing and I like, write. I'm like, oh, yeah. and that's just right. Exactly. Exactly. So for me, for Greek keys, I have briny, salty, green. And I even thought maybe there's lime in it, but I think there's lemon. Okay. Um, to me, it's a different kind of citrus. Not because, you know, mm -hmm. we'll see the other one, mandarin. Like those things are quite common. Um, 
But I think it's the lemon in here that really stands out to me. It's also grapefruit. Great to be that as well, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I put peppery, fresh, and all as a summary. I said it's an aromatic citrus. The dry down is like a, a smoky cedar mm -hmm. that I really yeah. do enjoy. I even thought there would have been some birch in there, but there wasn't. So I, I can just attribute it to the cedar because sometimes cedar can go a little bit smoky um, mm -hmm. with a briny quality, and mm -hmm. I like it a lot. I do too. I think yeah. it's different. It's definitely one that if you're looking for something unique, like a unique citrus, this is one to, to try for sure. Definitely there's oak moss in here too, which I love. And I think that's what gives it that like, you know, kind of like green woody kind of feel. Right, absolutely. Um, but I, yeah, I really enjoyed Greek Keys. I did too. I like this yeah. one a lot. I did. And I, I think I wrote citrus here like three times because <laughs> You know me, I'm, I, I think you're the same. You're not a huge fan of citrus right. fragrances. To mm -hmm. me, they typically fall flat. So when I find a citrus fragrance that has dimension and that's mm -hmm. actually interesting, yeah. I kind of like go dumb. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh my God, this is citrus that I think I could like wear comfortably and, and actually enjoy it. So <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I can, it, it's, it's really I like it because cedar also can go different ways. I think depending on where it's from, you have Virginia, Atlas, mm -hmm. and one can be more smoky than the other, but I, I can't remember the exact. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't have a lot of experience with like differentiating, you know, between the yeah. two. <laughs> well, me neither, but <laughs> red and stuff, so. Okay, Let's so. Hmm. I know we got a lot, so many perfumes to get through. I know. Awesome. We can do lace next. Okay, yeah, let's do lace. Yeah. Mm. Well, what did you write down for lace? Oh, hey, just that light. <laughs> Cedar lover in the house. <laughs> Welcome. Thanks for coming by. Um, Elysium is nice. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know, I don't think I've tried Elysium. Yeah, Elysium is nice. I think uh, Dan from Scented Water sent me a sample, and okay. yeah, I liked it. I know a lot of people, it, it's like a favorite. Mm -hmm. um, a lot it, of is, it is really nice. Okay, so for lace, Okay, Lace is by Hello. Sarah McCartney. Hi, Abby, welcome. How are you? Thanks for Hi. coming in. I hope you are well. Mm -hmm. um, gorgeous smile. I know, I can't get over it. Look at her. <laughs> <laughs> so adorable. Uh, oh, we have Joanna as well, Perez. Welcome. Oh, yes, I've seen her. How are you? Welcome to the party. Also a hot mess, but you know, we're going through it. Okay, so Sarah McCartney is the nose behind Lace. Okay. And Sarah, I think a lot of people here know already, but Sarah McCartney is, has her own. She's an indie perfumer and has her own brand uh, called 4,160 Tuesdays. Yeah. <laughs> I always try to say it in a British accent, but my accent's so terrible. Um, but I've never had a conversation with Sarah, but she seems so nice and so down to earth and i've seen she has a video that she did with wafts from the loft mm -hmm. wafts from the loft Check it out. where she talks about making perfume and i think i've watched that video like three separate times and it's like a 50 minute video it's like an hour long video <laughs> I it over because i feel like i learned so much right Huh? I, I, I love videos like that. I'm gonna check it out. Yeah, I'll send you the link. I'll send you the link. It, it's a great one, a great uh, fragrance or great video. Um, but lace, go ahead. No, I was just gonna say I love Oh My Soul, the the collaboration uh, fragrance from that. Yeah. One. I've only tried a sample, but that one's really good. It is. Nice. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So for lace, I have sweet, light, airy, floral, very musky. It has a, a watery tinge, and I think there's cologne mm -hmm. cologne in the notes, which kind of gives that off that like ozonic marine vibe. But as it dries down, it becomes more, I mean, it's, you still have that like slight ozonic quality, but to me, it becomes more of like a creamy floral, mm -hmm. a creamy musky floral. Yeah. And I find it to be very delicate. It's a very delicate um, yeah. fragrance. It's one of the more tamed, yeah. <laughs> it's very compared to like Jungle Jezebel, this is like on the total opposite spectrum. Yeah. I don't get any like animalic here at all. Mm -hmm. um, I wrote down like aquatic, soft vanilla with a, like it's coconutty. And I think that's yeah. where that kind of creaminess comes from. 
Um, and I have, I wrote down like the vision I got was a beach wedding, you know? So like a bride wearing this on their, on their wedding at the beach. Yeah. So it was off that vibe, you know, it's very like elegant. Um, yeah, I can totally see that. Yeah. Yeah. It would be a perfect beach wedding scent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now that you see that, that's the vision that I'm getting. Yeah. <laughs> I can totally see that. And Daphne says that she says this. It's what I would imagine oh. is for her wedding, which is very similar to what you yeah. just said. So. Um, yep. Yeah, I can send it. Well, you can find it. It's really, really easy if you search. But that video, yeah, Just That Light says, mm -hmm. I've seen it like three times, and I'm probably going to watch it five more times. Uh, yeah, it's great. We're going to go give them some views. Yeah, very um, informative. Yeah, see, people here love the lofts. Yeah. From the lofts, okay. That's from the lofts. But yeah, so would you say, is this something that you see yourself, like you could see yourself wearing? I personally would not wear it. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> I'm not that delicate. <laughs> yeah, but I, I feel the same way. I feel like if you don't like animalics, you don't like super like pungent in your face scents, this is the way to go. I find it to be somewhat feminine as well. But I feel like if a guy wears this, it will get my attention. Yeah, yeah. It's a really nice coconut and vanilla kind yeah. of fragrance, you know, with like an like aquatic, but not overly aquatic. It's just like fresh and like breezy kind of thing. Yeah. But I, I think I feel that's the, that way with a lot of fragrances that mm -hmm. seem to be feminine. And if I can imagine a guy mm -hmm. wearing it, I'm like, Hmm. Intrigued. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Very intrigued. I'm going to go um, spray my husband in a little bit. And see. Yeah. <laughs> but let us know. Let us know. <laughs> um, but yeah, lace, I think, is one that many people will will really enjoy, yeah. um, especially if you do like softer um, right. fragrances. I yeah. agree about that. All right. Who else do we have? Let's do Atlant. Is it Atlante or Atlant? I, I don't know. Let's say at Atlant. I think I say Atlant, but it could be. I think it's Atlant. Atlant, but I don't know if that's the correct way to say it. I think I heard Sarah say it in, in that live she did on Facebook. I think she said Atlante. I could be making that up. I don't know. Okay. Well, this is Aquaman. <laughs> <laughs> Aquaman signature scent. And I love it. I'm like, I want to like douse myself in it. I want to douse my husband in it. I'll <laughs> And I feel like Jason Momoa will just appear in front of me. <laughs> okay, if I, are you saying if I buy this fragrance? Jason Momoa might just appear. <laughs> my, I think I can do with my... Maybe I'll be dressed in the Aquaman, you know, costume. <laughs> Ooh, okay, okay, okay. So, yeah, for, I, for me, it's an aquatic citrus. It, it leans a bit masculine, but I, I, I would wear it. Mm -hmm. um, crisp, clean, like oceanic. Um, there's yuzu in here, which I love. I love yuzu in fragrances. Yeah. Um, there's seaweed, orange, yeah. lily of the valley, pink pepper, and wet rock. Oh, wait, there's more cedar, seashells, and driftwood. See, like my notes are like everywhere. I, I started <laughs> here and I went up here. <laughs> uh, seashells. So cool. Aquaman uh, reference. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I think this one's also one that's easy to, to enjoy, yeah. especially if you like those marine fragrances. Mm -hmm. I feel like this is like, can be considered like, um, you know, like your masculine blue fragrances, but yeah. way more interesting. Yeah. 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 And way more like dimensional and. You're not going to smell like Sakura or. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you have to. Maybe. Jason Momoa will pop. Let no. me know, girl, let me know if he shows up. <laughs> I will buy a full bottle right now. Exactly. It's already in my car. Just let me know. I'll just process order. It's more fresh aquatic. Yes. I don't get dirty. I don't get a lot of dirty. No. Um, for me, I have written down for at, uh, at Lance that it's um, kind of... To me, okay, let me just read what I have here. So Sarah McCartney is the nose behind this. I don't know if we mentioned that, but it's also the nose. Right. Um, I said it's a sweet floral, almost linen-like, um, a very clean, happy fragrance. Right. Um, 
and I found that it had a, an airy texture mm -hmm. and I felt like it was blended in a very like a whimsical kind of wispy way. Wow. Um, I also put that it's innocent, light, almost angelic. Okay. Um, so that's kind of what I got from. Yeah, I think that's a perfect comment. That's hysterical. So like the, <laughs> the bride would be wearing lace and <laughs> the groom would be wearing <laughs> Atlantic. Yeah. Perfect. They go. <laughs> it's a marriage. There you go. <laughs> Together. Yes. That's actually, very, that's perfect. Uh, we have Mr. Miami Cuddles in the building. Hey, Neil. Hello. Welcome. Uh, we have Aram here. Hi. <laughs> so what's that? That? Yeah. Yeah. Actually, my husband wore that. Okay. Yeah, I think he wore that. <laughs> at least, you know, at some point of his life. But if you like Aqua de Gio, mm -hmm. you want something more interesting, get you a sample of Atlant. Or at Atlant. Atlant. <laughs> We're not sure. <laughs> um, let's see who else is here. We got some new folks, I think. And so just yeah, Aram and Mr. Miami Cuddles. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Now we need a fragrance for divorce. I think that one was Jungle Jezebel. That's going to be the next one. Okay. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. All right. Jungle <laughs> Jezebel. Okay. We got a whole relationship here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's a whole soap storyline. Rules of attraction is when you're, you know, you're getting them, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And then at the wedding, you have lace in that land. You know, right. everyone's happy. And then Jungle Jezebel just comes in. You know, when they when they say, "What do you? Who, does anyone object to the wedding?" Jungle Jezebel kicks down the door. Was just like, I I saying, and, <laughs> and just messes with everything. Just starts to just like a bulldozer, flipping tables over and like kicking doors down. That's Jungle <laughs> Jezebel at the wedding. So Jungle Jezebel. Here we go. What did I write down? Okay, bubble gum, <laughs> floral opening, sweet and citrusy floral with an animalic smooth base. But okay, so I I really liked Jungle Jezebel, right? Mm -hmm. I wore it and I thought, oh my God, this smells so good. I smell amazing, right? And then like, here comes my mom. <laughs> <laughs> what the F is that? <laughs> I'm like, what? She's like, that smells like a public toilet. I'm like, oh, well, my little bubble just boop, burst. <laughs> oh no. Well, I, I, I enjoy Jungle Jezebel. It is not for the faint of heart. It really, it's, it's, it's very animalic. Yes. It, yeah. And it starts off like, yeah, it's like, it's crazy, right? It's all over the place. <laughs> I think it's, it's, do I want to say it's a, Okay, let me just start. I actually don't have notes on this because... Oh, did I write down that? Okay, orange, banana, peach, okay. bubblegum, rose, tuberose, lang lang, amber, sandalwood, civet, and I underlined civet. Yeah. Civet. A lot of that civet, in it. Um, vinegar, vanilla, and tonka bean. So for me, me and Jungle Jezebel have beef, okay? <laughs> it's Sometimes, like a relationship, right? Exactly. Sometimes I adore it. And even yesterday when I was revisiting them, I was like, oh my God, Jungle Jezebel is so good. But I, this is another one that, again, on paper versus on skin mm -hmm. is completely different. Um, it develops so much and I feel like it's more animalic on skin. Right. Um, and also I feel like, there's some times where I, I'm just smitten by it, and then other right. times, and then I wear it. So like every time I get it, I get something different. Right. Mm -hmm. So sometimes I, I'm just in love with it. Other times I'm like, whoa, this is, this is too much. Right. Um, but for me, you know, you get the florals, the yellow florals, uh, tuberose, of course. You get that like banana bubblegummy opening. That's so much fun. Yeah, it is a lot of fun. It's like wow, this is it's inspired by the drag queen of the century, dubbed yeah. you know, People Magazine. So <laughs> yeah, and that yeah, that's what we get. Um, oh, yeah, so definitely it's out there. Um, I wrote down provocative, risque, like seductress. You know, yeah. Like very yeah. It's 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 a cool one. It's fun. Yeah. It's more on the artistic side of life. And I think depending on your skin chemistry, it depends. Um, right. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, I think so. Um, yeah, I think depending on your skin chemistry, it could pull more floral or it can pull more animalic. Mm-hmm. For me, I think it depends on how I'm feeling. And, right. you know, I feel like, like I said, every time I wear it on my skin, I get something different. Sometimes I get a lot of fruits. Sometimes I get a lot of florals. Sometimes mm-hmm. I get a lot of civet. Um, so this one is just multidimensional. Um, I really do like it. And when I had it on yesterday, I just kept getting, I was like, maybe that's why I couldn't go to bed because my brain was just like all these smells and uh, yeah, it just, I don't know. It was just very exciting. Oh, hey, Brian. Hi, welcome. We're still going. Yeah, it's going to be a while. So feel free to go. Do you want to do do it now? Oh yeah, we can. We have 33. We have a good amount of people in the house. Yes. Kind of, you know, joined us. Do you want to let everybody know what the good news is? Yes. So Sarah was super generous and agreed to um, give away two sets of discovery sets because we know we have she has two collections. So both collection discovery sets for two winners. Mm -hmm. Okay. How crazy is that? I was like so blown away. Me too. I was like, thank you, Sarah. If you're still here, Sarah, thank you. Yeah. We have to give a stand yeah. ovation. Thank you so much. Uh, it just makes you know our lives more fun, and mm-hmm. also just gives an opportunity for others to experience what we're talking about. Because yeah, we can talk about a fragrance for hours, right? As we usually right. do. But um, it's nice just to give folks okay. Just it's like yeah. an incentive, right? They get to try it mm-hmm. and then find what they like and mm-hmm. experience it for themselves rather than just experiencing it vicariously through us so <laughs> yeah, it's a double whoop double whoop <laughs> yes <laughs> and i believe it's international because she is based in the uk correct yes. yeah so this will be international mm-hmm. wherever she can send it on you know. yeah if there are any shipping restrictions sarah's uh let us know so that yeah. um you know we don't get everyone's <laughs> hopes, <laughs> expectations super low, and then we disappoint them, right? We talked about this just thank a you, Sarah. Yes, while yes. ago. Thank you, thank you. Um, yeah. Oh, good morning, Bettina. Welcome. Hi. So, to... We're talking oh, about... Huh? I was going to say the for the giveaway. If oh. you're interested in the giveaway, go ahead and put a sun emoji in the chat. Um, again, just like last time, this giveaway is only open to folks who are in um, the live. So in the recording, if you're watching it, sorry. 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 For live, live people. <laughs> it just seems a little bit more organized for us, you know? Yeah. So that way. Okay, put a sun in the comments. If you don't have emojis, just type sun. Yes. And we'll go through. It makes it easy for us to pick out, you know. The, yeah, the, I just put a sun emoji just as an example. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, yeah, just just you know, if you can copy paste it, you can do that too. <laughs> if you can, I don't know. Look at all the suns; they're coming. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah, they have different suns. Okay. Oh, Michelle's like I'm putting all any, the- any kind of sun. Yeah, give us all the suns. Both suns. Both suns. <laughs> um. Okay. Cool, cool. Cool. This is exciting. I'm so excited. Oh, oh Lucy's exciting. here. <laughs> Hey, Booski, how are you? Hello. You were coming. Uh, where were we? We were talking about, hello. Solar, welcome. Hello. Welcome. I think I saw Marilyn come in early. I didn't, we didn't say hi to Marilyn. Mm. Or did we? I don't know. If we did, okay. But hi, hello. Marilyn. Well, oh, yeah, she did. Hello, she's saying hi to everybody. Yes, <laughs> thank you for coming by. So, um, yeah, if you want to enter the giveaway, put the sun emoji yeah. or type out sun if you don't have emojis. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And two winners. So there are going to be two winners for both. Mm-hmm. So each winner would have yeah, both. The whole collection, which is yeah, sorry, cool. Collection. How many fragrances is that? That's like eight. A lot. Five. That's 13 fragrances. 13. Wow. Sarah's being super generous. Like You're going to be busy wow. for a while. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um. Oh. Mm, oh, interesting. Okay. How do you like it? Oh, I love it so much. Bottle, full bottle. How do you like it as the perfume, though? Is it like super different? Less animalic, maybe. Question. Yeah. Yeah. 
I would think maybe um, the Molex wouldn't be as pronounced for yeah for hand sanitizer. Um, oh. very sen I don't think she's she still makes a hand sanitizer in the. No, center. I think it's like a limited thing. edition thing. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Kanger. Oh. Hi. Can you go back to that comment? Because I didn't. Dan, is it Dan from um, Mr. Smelly or? Who? Dan just did an interview with Miguel yesterday. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, I need to check that out. Um, I seen him do interviews, uh, do an interview with uh, uh, Mia from oh. Fab Trends. Yes. Uh, by Mia, that one was really interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, what else? I think I've seen him do a, a like a interview with someone else as well. Um, oh, he's done two interviews with Mia. That's what it was. Okay. Yeah. I think I saw one of them. I did. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, Mr. Smelly. Okay. okay, we'll have to check that out then. Yeah, definitely. So yeah, Miguel Matos definitely did his thing with Jungle Jezebel. It's very artistic. It comes, like I said, in that limited edition. Let me see if I can find like super a picture cute. Of it? Yeah, I want to find a picture of it because it's so it cute. Yeah. I, I think um, oh. Sarah said she actually like glued the lashes on and like the wig <laughs> was so my hair. <laughs> Let's see. What's this one? Yeah. Divine is the name of the um of the drag queen that it's inspired by. But how cute is that? It even has a little mole. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. This what is it? Oh, this is um leopard. Yep. So that's okay. pretty so that was, you know, jungle Jezebel. I think that one's pretty popular in the community, right? Because it's so out there, like. Robert from um, Fragrance Journey loves Jungle Jezebel. I think it's going to be you either love it or you hate it. Yes. Yeah. So For me, I fight with it all the time, but I think yeah. it's more of a love than anything. <laughs> right. Um, but yeah, it's just one of those that, I don't know, it's an exciting, eh, we talked about it already, let's stop. But it's very exciting. Yeah. But um, you would get it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I personally wouldn't just because I probably wouldn't reach for it as often, you know? Okay. I probably wouldn't wear it enough, not enough to justify a whole bottle, but mm -hmm. I do, I did enjoy wearing my sample. So yeah. Yeah. My mom also did not like it. Okay. So here's a prime example. My cousin, uh, we grew up together and we share similar step memories, which is really interesting. Mm -hmm. so if I smell a fragrance and I'm like, Oh, this reminds me of something mm -hmm. and I'll have her smell it. And I'm like, what does this remind you of? And then she'll say exactly. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I don't yeah. even know why I said that, but we, I like to have her smell my collection every time she comes mm -hmm. over. So when she came over once, I was like, you need to smell Jungle Jezebel. So I, I sprayed it on her and she was like, Oh, I thought she would hate it. Mm -hmm. Really loved it. Mm. And then yeah. we went down there. It, it does like evoke kind of that some childhood memories because of that bubble gum note. Yeah. yeah. But the thing, what I found interesting was we went downstairs where my mom was there and her mom, mm -hmm. and they could smell it right away because it's very yeah. strong. And yeah, uh, X-rays. So yeah, yeah, exactly. And my mom was like, "What is that smell? Yeah. It smells terrible. Like it smells." She, she was like, "I could tell she was hesitant." To describe right. it, and then she said it smells like poop. Okay, was, yeah. was, there is like a fecal quality. There yeah. is something fecal about it. But her mom, my cousin's mom, my aunt mm -hmm. said it smells really good. So two mm -hmm. women who come from the same place, really, they're really good friends. You know, they're they're sister in laws. Right. And um, one of them was like no, and one of them was like hell yeah. So you know, it just depends. It's different for everyone. Right. I think it's gonna be like a 50-50 thing, you know? Mm-hmm, mm hmm Oh, okay. Nice. Nice. <laughs> I love that. Just see how it goes. Try and see see what happens. <laughs> well, your picture looks very Twin Peaks, somebody said. I don't know what that means. Do you know what that means? She's talking about Sarah Baker. I don't know. I'm pro probably. He, I see so many sons. So yeah, many I know. It's okay. You're going to have a good pool of uh, of uh, entries. So. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, Ruth is here. Hi, Ruth. Hi, Ruth. If you want to enter the Google Way, put your son in the yes. comments. You'll yeah. get the whole collection. And then, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. 
I mean, bubblegum and civet, that's so weird, right? Like you wouldn't think they go together and they probably shouldn't go together, but they do. And it works for some. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. So more, yeah, that makes sense. Makes sense for it to be more complex than the thing. Oh, okay. That's how much snow there is. Nice. <laughs> I, I don't know about that life. <laughs> yeah, uh, Mike is in Florida, and I'm in Texas. So Florida, it's it's yeah. summer all all year round here. <laughs> okay, so that's what it is. Sarah's picture that they're talking about. Okay. okay, let's move on. We have two more from the original collection. Yes. Okay. Tartan okay. and charade. Oh, this is which one? Tartan and charade. Okay. I have a little sample of tartan. Okay. Uh, where's my strip? I like tartan. I love. Tartan. Yes. Yeah. So it's inspired by the Scottish peeps by Scotland. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Whiskey? Is it whiskey? What did I write down? I don't know. But it does have a, a, a slight whiskey. A whiskey. whiskey. I actually okay. just had a really, really good old fashioned last night. Oh. Awesome. Oh, yeah. You had a date night last night. Yeah, huh? we did. Yeah, we were, we haven't done that in a long, long time. Yeah, you need to do that every now and then. I know. It's just so hard now because I worry about, you know, COVID. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> it, it wasn't busy, though, and it was, like, safe. We were safe. Yeah, okay. That's good. Yeah, as long as there's not many people, it should be okay. Yeah. Okay, so mm. just as I said, Tartan is his faith. It's also yeah, one of my favorites. Listen, it is so good. It is really, really good. And it's one that I didn't like at first. Okay. But I love, love, love now. Yeah. Um, for me, Tartan is one that I also like I liked at the beginning when I first tried it, and I, I never stopped liking it. Yeah. So with leopard, I started off liking it and I ended up not liking it so much. Mm. Yeah. So there's something like medicinal, and it's like warm too. So it's not like to me, it's not like a cool, you know, medicinal. It's it's warm. Yeah. And then if you if you've ever like made bread, that yeast smell when yes. you put the yeast, that comes off too, which is yeah. like so cool. So hmm. for me, I think that well, I don't know, maybe because there's a note of Buddha wood, which I'm not super familiar with, Buddha. but yes, it does have that obvious like bread. Um, so okay, it's not whiskey, it's hops, I think. It's oh, hops, hops. Okay. hops, okay. Yeah. Um, but to me, okay, so I put on my piece of paper on my notes, so I said sweet woods, mm -hmm. slightly damp, aromatic, mm -hmm. warm, it's like a warm, comforting sweater, mm -hmm. and it warms up with skin, like warms up on skin. And I do get a little bit of spice, and I don't know if that's coming from the hops or not. I'm not exactly sure. Um but in the dry down, I get this like cedar leather with tobacco. Mm -hmm. And it, again, with that like smoky cedar feel, yeah. I get with this one as well. And I think that's kind yeah. of. Yeah, I definitely get some smoky. I yeah. get that jasmine tea comes out. Yeah. And I think that jasmine, I don't know, it just gives it this, I don't know. Like a, maybe like a smoked tea vibe with the cedar. And. It's, it's beautiful. beautiful. It's beautiful. I think this will be my next one. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. It's beautiful. I forgot how much I like this. Yeah. It's so warm and cozy. It's, it's a, if you like tobacco, it's definitely, it, it's a unique tobacco. It's, it's, it, you know, cause there's, yeah, there's just everything <laughs> going on. <laughs> you know, they're so complex. Like, they're, they're kind of difficult to explain too. Yeah, Sarah McCartney also did this fragrance. She's a nose of this one. Yeah, I really like this. Mm. <laughs> I really like this a lot. Yeah. You just sit and sniff it for a little while. I know, just like, I actually might, well, it's kind of warm mm. today, but I'm not, cause I don't have anything on. Like after I showered, I didn't spray anything. I might just spray a little bit of this on. Just do it, just yeah. do it. Let's see, screw this. It's the hard remnants of, um, <laughs> Oh, sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, we're here I like, don't know what that's like. Hi, you made it. You made it. We're, we're only like halfway through, so we <laughs> yeah. we'll be going for a little while. I think we I think we're making good time actually. We talked about like eight fragrances. No, um seven. Okay. Yeah. So I think we only got one more from this original collection and then we're yeah. off to the Sarah Baker line. Yes. Ooh, okay. <laughs> 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 
Girl. I'm so glad I'm not, I, I don't have to worry all about that. I would you, know, you have a you're married and settled, but I'm for already, us I'm already kind of antisocial, so I'll just <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it doesn't help, especially if you are antisocial. So yeah, yeah, I, I was already uh, quarantining before this happened. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 I get the leather as well. Yeah, um, I'm it, it's tobacco on me, but it definitely it does come through. Yeah. I love it. I love tar. Every time I smell it, I'm like, oh, yeah, so it's so comforting and warm. Yes, Ruth, charade and tartan, I think, are my two favorites from this collection. Really charade. That's what's next. That's what's next. Yeah. Thank wow. you. We try. Yeah. <laughs> Daphne. Yes, it is amazing. Okay. So do I have notes on charade? Yes, I do. Okay. Well, so that's the one I have a full bottle of. Yes. And that's the last one we'll talk about from the signature collection. Yeah. Uh, I think I have this here. Yes, the bottle. Yeah. Beautiful. The bottle is heavy. The cap is heavy. Heavy. Yeah. Beautiful. Love a heavy bottle. Mm -hmm. So nice. So Andres, Andreas Wilhelm is the perfume. Yeah. And this was actually, I think, my first introduction into the sheep um, style was. Oh. I smelled this before I smelled Mitsoko. Really? And the reason I, I smelled it so oh, was gosh. I wanted something to compare it to. I actually, my first first sheep was one by Floral Street called something sheep, but it was so synthetic. It smelled nothing like this. And when I smelled this, I was like, holy crap. This yeah. is what sheep is supposed to smell like. It's very old school Hollywood. And that's what inspired this. The There's a movie called Charade. And I think is it Audrey okay. Hepburn? Audrey Hepburn, yeah. Yeah, and Hugh Grant were the stars, and it was, came out in like the 60s, and it was black and white, and it's very, it gives off that vibe, that very old school Hollywood. I, the picture I got was like a flapper smoking one of those Charleston cigarettes, you yeah. know, very sexy, very, 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 very sexy. Tuberose heavy fragrance. Mm -hmm. You know, I just did. I meant to spray, um, like to refresh my sh old touch strip mm -hmm. with charade, and I ended up spraying Jungle Jezebel. Oh, and I, I might have done something. Oh, <laughs> charade and Jungle Jezebel. Yeah, that's that's a bomb. That's I think we revisit that yeah. a little bit later. <laughs> Don't call me out. I see you, Marilyn. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I wore something this morning, and then I showered to get ready for the live. So. You know, this is my second round of sex. Right. Her nose is overwhelmed. <laughs> uh, okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, I'm smelling tartan. I'm so weird. I'm about to spray. Uh, oh, there's spray. so much civet in here, you guys. The civet comes off a lot on my skin, but it's, it's nice. Like, it's tame, you know? Like, it's not, like, super dirty, dirty civet. It's, I don't know, it just gives it a very, like, provocative kind of vibe, you know? Yeah. Yes. Um, Drea, we're talking about charade. Charade. It's dark, it's smoky, it's everything. I love charade. That's good. I love charade. Miss Felly's intrigued by the inspiration. Yes, yeah. Hi, Joanne. Hello, welcome. Lisa. Hi. Okay, so what I have down, the opening for Charade, and Charade is by Andreas Willem. I don't know if you mentioned it, but. Yeah, I'm afraid to spray it, because like when you spray it, it's such a bomb, like that's yeah. all I'm gonna smell. And um, I find it to be quite sweet. So it's um, sweet tuberose in the opening, and I get a little bit of fruitiness, and I think um, the fruitiness is because of the ylang ylang that's in there, ylang ylang, ylang ylang. Lang lang. Lang lang. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I get a little bit of fruity aspect. I don't know if you get the same. Uh, yeah. I find it to be like a creamy, sweet, fruity tuberose. Mm -hmm. And then it just gets a little bit darker yeah. as you wear it. Mm -hmm. And it, I think there's, is there leather? Like a soft, I, I, I put dries down soft leathery. It's less sweet. Yeah, it more, yeah. so yeah. It's, it's less sweet and it becomes it's more true. like, okay, okay, that's good to know. I, I think it's so sweet because of the honey. There's honey in here. Oh, yeah. And it is like that. Oh God, it's so good. 
Yeah. But I find that um, yeah, it's less sweet as you wear it. And then it gets more like sensual. You said sexy. Yeah. It becomes like a sexy, yeah. sensual, mm -hmm. warm fragrance on the skin. You get a little bit of that moss, but it's not, to me, this is not an obvious sheep. It's, no. it's not one that I would smell blindly and say, oh, this is a sheep. I don't think so. Uh, because I mm -hmm. find that it's quite sweet and floral. Mm -hmm. But this, I think this is another fragrance that kind of got me open to tuberose because I didn't like tuberose before. Right. Uh, but this one, I feel like it's, I like it. Yeah. Which yeah. one, Drea? I, I mentioned about, uh, which one? Charade. Charade? I think so. Let me I know which one, which one? I'm sorry. I'm, I have a terrible memory, so I'd have to like. I think about what I said. <laughs> no. It's not super, at least not on me. It's not super animalic. Yeah, um, it, it is animalic. I'm not gonna lie. It isn't on. It is the civet does, especially when it starts drying down. Yeah, but I think there's so much like sweetness and florals that it kind of like tames it a lot. Yeah. The clean civet. Yeah. It's like the civet got a bath, right? And <laughs> that's, that's actually a really good <laughs> description. Because it's not dirty like um like rules of attraction. It's not like jungle Jezebel. Mm -hmm. This civet here, the animalic quality is not like not like it's not poopy at all. No, no. Or too musky. Yeah, I think it, it, it has a really good balance. Yeah. I know clean musk is a thing, but it's not like that white musk either. It is the dark musk, but it's not, it's not super dirty. Yeah. I don't know. It's hard to explain, but it's so good. It's so good. Miss Shelly, don't be scared. Okay. If you get a sample, maybe you win uh, the giveaway. If you get a sample, yeah. try it. Okay. I, you, you may like it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Me too. Same oh, it's nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So good. Um, okay, I think we're all caught up. Everyone saying hi. Yes. Okay. So yeah, charade is is definitely on the top of my list, along with Tartan and uh Jungle Jezebel. I think that's gonna be one that I think I'll end up getting it, but I think it'll take me a while. Yeah. So yeah, it, it took me a year to decide. And then she had a sale. Uh, Sarah had a sale for the holidays. Yeah. And I was able to get this and this for a really good price. So, yeah. you know. Yeah. yeah, I got the, well, we'll get no, I think they're very well priced. I don't think, I, I think for what you're getting. Yeah. They're very well priced. They're so. 50 mil extra the parfums. Mm -hmm. And the packaging is lit. I don't know if that's appropriate for packaging, but it's lit. <laughs> um, and they last really long and they feel artisanal. They don't feel mass produced or like generic. I mean, they're nothing yeah. generic. There's nothing generic about any of these fragrances. So that's all. Um, yeah. I'm cold and my AC won't turn off. Oh, you better call your husband. Tell him to turn it off. <laughs> no, I got that little nasty thing. Oh, you okay. I got that app, so I'm going to just shut it off. <laughs> Maybe it's I'm a low temperature. Yeah, I don't know. I'm shivering. Oh, God. I feel bad. We're talking about being cold, and then folks are out here in a snowstorm. <laughs> I'm so sorry. They're probably like, F you. I know, right? You don't know what cold is. You're right. I don't. If I was in a snowstorm, I'd be hibernating, okay? I would literally be, like, wrapped in my blanket <laughs> with the heater on. Yep. I wouldn't, come next out. To the theater. I wouldn't come out till summer, till the snow melted. <laughs> it was and that's when you emerge out of hibernation. Yes. <laughs> okay, let me see. Okay, nothing. Oh, oh, my friend Tiffany's watch. She's messaged me. She says, oh, you ladies are awesome together. I don't know how to comment, LOL, but I'm watching. Oh, hi. Watching. What's her name? Tiffany. Tiffany, hi Tiffany. Thanks for yeah. watching. She's awesome. And she's always looking for like new interesting fragrances. So I was like, dude, if you haven't heard of Sarah Baker, join the live. I yes. think you will love it. Mm -hmm. um, Are we talking about charade 
or Jungle Jezebel. I think she's talking about Charade, but yeah. I do get a little bit of that bubble. I think mm -hmm. it's a Tauros that's giving that kind exactly. of like that sensation of okay. chewing them. Yes, I and because it's kind of sugary, it's it's very sweet in the opening, almost sugary. So yeah, I totally get what you mean. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. F snow. <laughs> <laughs> What's this mean from? What is this some sort of riddle? IDK. Oh no, she's talking about charade. Yeah, charade. That's what we're talking. Yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. Okay, moving on to the S Baker collection. So this is her newest collection, and this just came out a couple months ago, right? Yeah, it came out. I think uh, towards the end of like Q four of last year, fiscal year. <laughs> <laughs> the end of the year, like the the the, the last uh, quarter last of the year. Yeah. <laughs> We're still adult. Yeah. We're still adult. In the fourth quarter of the fiscal year. Yes. Uh, that's when S. Baker's collection came out. I don't even know what that means. I just think it sounds very it sounds adult. intelligent. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or, like, yeah, you have your shit together, you know. <laughs> this is. <laughs> This is what we are um, trying to evoke. We're trying to make you guys believe right. that we're together, we're grown, and we're sophisticated. But really, not really. We're not. Oh, 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 uh, Florida. I'm in Florida. The Sunshine State, which is appropriate. If you haven't dropped your sons in the comments and you want to enter the giveaway that Sarah Baker is so generously hosting for us, she's uh, offered two sample sets to two people. So we're going to pick yes. two winners from the comments. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> With 2% GDP. <laughs> Leave us alone. That sounds, that sounds about right. Mm -hmm. yep. uh -huh. <laughs> Whatever it is. Okay, so yeah, the most recent collection, the S. Baker collection, which uh, does have some of the same perfumers as the, oh, the perfumers aren't listed on the tube, so we have to go on this one. No, they are not. So we got to look those up. Yeah. I think a um, good um, transition one is Flame and Fortune. Okay. Yeah, we can do that one. I think it's the close. Well, it reminds me actually a little bit of Jungle Jezebel. Okay. And Sarah Baker herself is the perfumer for this one. Yes. Which I think is pretty awesome. Cool. And okay. I think it has that bubblegum kind of opening. It's a like a fruity floral. Yeah, it has the uh, that tuberose in mm -hmm. there. That can give yes. off that bubble. I honestly, I don't get much bubble gum. I do get tuberose, but not that like sweet uh, bubble gummy tuber. Mm -hmm. I have a whole bottle of Flame and Fortune because oh, okay. you like my it. favorite one. <laughs> it's my faves. I like it. Mm -hmm. I, I like this three that I really love from the collection, but I started yeah. off with um, yeah. uh, Flame and Fortune. And I just love that Sarah actually made this herself. <laughs> um, oh, it's so Anywhere Santa Claus goes, <laughs> she can. Because <laughs> that's where Rudy's at. That's where. Oh my gosh. That's I can just imagine how cold it is. So, Flame and Fortune is one that I find very addicting. I feel like every time I have it on or I'm spraying it, I just can't help but just keep taking whiffs mm -hmm. of it. We talked about it earlier about how peppery it is and i think that's why i really like it it's kind of like a like a green bitter pepperiness yeah, um definitely bitter but it also feels hot like it gives me like a not yes spicy yes but also temperature hot yeah. and i think there's a note of fire in here i don't know how she did it i don't know yeah. how she did it uh, yeah. oh yeah fire and mezcal also Motor oil, burnt wood, mm -hmm. jasmine, tuberose, iris, lily of the valley, petit gras, which is probably what I'm getting that green from. Uh, mandarin, ginger, apricot, uh, pink pepper, orange. I, I literally read that note breakdown like backwards <laughs> 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 from the end to the to the beginning. So I I sprayed this on in this morning and I took a shower and it's still mm -hmm. on my hand. Yeah, yeah, my arm actually. And okay, I guess it's important to know that the fragrances from the S Baker collection are um. EDPs rather than extrates, but they all last really oh, well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And also good to know, note that the S Baker one, uh, fragrances are a bit um, cheaper 
price point wise. The packaging isn't as lavish as the original mm -hmm. collection, but I mean, come on. It's nice. It's a nice yeah. packaging. Oh, and she uh, had these little limited baby bottles that I have, yes. which I, I kind of hope that she brings out again, maybe permanently, because it gives people an option, you know, Yes, to, to to wear these fragrances without committing to like a whole, especially for us who have like so many bottles that we'll never get through. You know, mm -hmm. I appreciate these little baby bottles. Yeah, same, cool. same. But um, Sarah actually just did a live with Oh My Soul on Facebook, and she mentioned that they're going to be introducing smaller bottle sizes. I mean, both collections are fifty mils. Mm -hmm. I think she's considering adding thirty mils and perhaps 15 mils and um, sort of feel free to correct me if I'm um, incorrect. Um, but yeah, I think that's really exciting. Like you said, it gives people the opportunity to try fragrances for a longer period of time without committing to that like mm -hmm. full bottle. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, I think that's cool, especially for people who have a lot. <laughs> yes. Hey, Hi. Sammy, welcome. If you're new and you wanna enter the giveaway, Put a sun in the comments or type yeah. out if you don't have emojis. Yeah, <laughs> yeah definitely. Awesome. Man. I think this is, it's a fun collection. It's so yeah. much fun. Very, a lot of fun exploring for sure. Uh, I guess autocorrect is saying um, it's changing your name to Maine all the time. Maine. <laughs> but um, I've, been, I've been called everything. I've been called mate. <laughs> Hello, matey, they would say in high school. And I would always, <laughs> so in high school, like I, my thing was, I would wear my um, little thingy majiggy up here on my arm, right? And I always wear the same one. It was uh, a leopard one. Okay. So they were like, oh, you're ready to mate. You're, oh, oh mate, you have a little mate. I know, kids are so mean, right? I thought it was funny. Children <laughs> are so annoying. But Marilyn, if you look in the description box, there should be a link to Mitha's channel. Oh yeah, I do have a channel. Hi, I'm my <laughs> Yeah, I, and then it's you just have... my first name, and it's spelled M A I T E. Yes. Yeah. yeah, just check the description box. It'll it'll yeah. uh, it'll be there. Yes. Um. Wait. Uh, yes. So. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Um, okay, so let us continue with Flame and Fortune. It's my favorite one. I just love how I feel like she conveys a f fire. Like I feel it's definitely it's I think it's pepper. It's yeah, the, it's a spicy pepper. I think. Yeah, I know because my name is not common, so autocorrect always. I hate autocorrect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like what is this? This is not a real word. Autocorrect is also love hate relationship. Sometimes it lets me down in yeah. a major way. They are cute, aren't they? Yes. yes, yes, yes. Um, but yeah, yeah. Fortune's my faves. Um, which one do you want to talk about next? Yeah. Mm. Let's see. And I did not like Flame and Fortune. Not as yeah. yeah I'm sorry. I know. <laughs> It's the right? spicy pepper. That's not my thing. And that's what I like about it. I just I like, like I like the opening. I think the opening is, you know, that sweet kind of tuberose, you know, kind of like in charade and, mm -hmm. you know, it has a little bit of that bubblegum quality. Yeah. But it's that pepper that just. I love this. Oh, I wore this. Are you are you here? OK, I think, I think so. <laughs> Yeah, we see. I, I see you. I hope everyone can. Um, I what's it called? I uh, mentioned Flame and Fortune in my uh, December favorites because I got it in December, and I just I would just open it every like almost every day and just take a whiff of it. I'm like, oh my god. Yeah, no, I'm sure straight like straight out of the thing. It smells nice. It's just on my skin that pepper comes out a lot. Yeah, yeah. Okay, where'd it go? I don't even know where it is. Where'd it go? Um, Marilyn, if you type in Maite and put fragrance, because that's how I find your your oh, okay. So if I put Maite, other stuff comes up. So put Maite space fragrance and her channel's gonna come up. I'm hidden. I don't want to be found. <laughs> uh okay, so here you go. Um, yes, we're planning uh -huh. to do smaller sizes, but we have to yeah. Yeah. No, I could definitely that, that, that makes sense, yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yes. 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 No, I've heard uh, that before too. Yeah. That it's just yeah, as far as the finance part, you know, it's not as cost effective to have the little bottles. So, and that makes sense from you know the brand, you know, point of view. Yeah, I think usually it takes you know. Um, I know smaller brands coming up usually have a hard time with um, offering different sizes. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I, I'm really looking forward to the 30 and 50 mils. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. I think with smaller bottles, I would be more comfortable getting all the ones that I like from the collection rather than yeah. trying to decide like, okay, I can only have one. Right. Then I can, well, I can get a bunch of them because right. they're. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we can rotate that. Yeah, exactly, exactly. That's from our group. Like the regular person, right? <laughs> Doesn't yeah, have regular person would be okay buying like just like a whole bottle if they're only going to wear one or two fragrances, right? Yeah, but you know we are um, <laughs> we're not regular. <laughs> question for you: What is your thought process behind making unisex fragrances versus om femme fragrances? Mm -hmm. That's a good question. Yeah, yep. thanks for the question, Kanger. Mm -hmm. um, okay, should we move on? Yeah, let's move on. Let's do, well, what do you want to do next? Uh, we can do Bascule. Okay. So I, I really liked Bascule. Okay. Well, the dry down, which I think happened to me a lot with these for some reason. So okay. I, I enjoyed Bascule in the opening, in the middle, but then, and it lasted literally all day. Like it's one, it's very, you know, potent. And I think towards the dry down, it got very, very musky. And the inspiration behind this is like horse stables and like the metal tap. Yeah. And it's very equestrian, you know, it, that's yeah. the kind of inspo. I think it's um, like a princess riding a horse through like the green meadow. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Well, there's leather, it's animalic. Um, what I put up fresh citrus and, and like fresh cut grass too, I get. Yeah. Um, very earthy. And I did, I did enjoy this one. I just, it got a little bit too musky in the dry down for me. Okay. Um, who did uh, Bascule? I think it was, uh, let me I like see. Names too. It was, a, I know it was a, a woman. I don't remember. Ashley, Ashley oh. Kessler. I feel like oh. <laughs> first name base is, yeah, Ashley did the first. My homegirl. Yeah. <laughs> home um. Yeah, so I like the opening, just like you. I really do enjoy the opening mm -hmm. of this. I love how green it is. It's very green, mm -hmm. um, very fresh, you know, that freshly cut grass type. And I do see, like, one frolicking in the meadow. Yeah. And then <laughs> with, get, with some horses. <laughs> yeah, you know, with, with the horse nearby. Um, <laughs> but, yes, it does have the animalic leathery quality to it. And for me... I love it on the on the strip, but when I put it on skin, I feel like that animalic animalic leather comes very strong, mm -hmm. too strong because I like animalics. We all like animalics here, most of us. But right. Brooklyn teeters too animalic for me, right? Because then I start to think of like a literal horse stable, right? But I do love the green elements in here. I do love the citrus notes. And on paper, it's really nice. Right. But on my skin, I just feel like that the um like the horse leather horse saddle leather type scent comes off really strong. And I think this is one also that I need to spend more time with. Um, because now that I'm smelling it, I'm like, like a, smelling it again, I'm like, I really like that opening. The opening is good. It's just that, you know, after it develops, then it gets very yeah, yeah, I think exactly that's what happens. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's, that's basically what happens. Yeah, yeah. Basquiel, yeah. Oops, sorry. Okay. Yana loves Basquiat. She she loves Basquiat. I can see why. I can definitely see why. I think if you if you are into more, so we like Animonks, but I think <laughs> we're still not there. I don't know if we'll ever be there. Like at least for me, it's like you know, very heavy mm -hmm. fragrance. I like a little bit. I like charade. It's kind of more on the tame side of life with civet, you know, I think. Yeah. Um, so the, the notes on here is grass, peach, uh, bergamot, lily of the valley, hay, leather, vetiver, amber, musk, fur, tobacco, metal tack. Metal tack. Do you get any metal tack? Do you smell that? Mm -hmm. Maybe in the dry down? That's interesting. That's an interesting note. Yeah. 
Yeah. I can't say I, I get that, honestly. Uh, but then I don't know what a metal tack smells like. I mean, I'm guessing it's a quite metallic feel, maybe. Right. Yeah, Sarah, I, th I agree. I think, um, you know, the whole masculine feminine thing is subjective. So uh, who are we, who, you know, to tell somebody, hey, you, you can't wear that because that's for a man or you can't right. wear that. Because some people take it very literal. They're like, oh, if they have, if it has porfam on it, a it's guy, a he'll like, oh, he'll just stay away from it. Won't even look at it. Give right. it the time of day. No. So it's subjective. It depends on your personal experience. It depends on you know what you define as masculine or feminine. Yeah. So oh yeah. She says it right here. Um, if it was called, oh, yeah. some woman might not wear it. So there. Yeah. Exactly. Away from it. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It's a whole and, and it's a marketing tactic. So. You know, it's easier for bigger brands to say, here, this is marketed for you, for women, because mm -hmm. then women, a lot of women will buy it. But, yeah. Okay. You know, yeah. Yeah. Dre is asking, what is animalic? So I think animalic is something that we talked about this. Uh, Pep had a live with Eve and um, uh, Michelle. Mm -hmm a couple weeks back and they were saying like, what would you describe as an animalic scent? And to me, when I think of animalic, it kind of reminds me of a slightly unclean body, but mm -hmm. hear me out, hear me out. We There are lots of animalic notes that really provide or give a fragrance a lot of depth and dimension. Mm -hmm. To me, some animalic notes can feel very human-like, very skin-like, um, very carnal, very sexy. Um, a little bit dirty, but like in a good way, you yeah. know? Yeah. Um, but yeah, animalic is just like when you put certain notes or it gives off that like animalic kind of dirty kind of, do you consider endolic to be animalic? I do, but I don't know if yeah. that's correct. Okay. Yeah, I think it could either be like literally animalic from, because there are musks that come from animals like castorium, mm -hmm. civet, and then they can be synthetic. Like in Sarah Baker's collection, these are synthetic um, musks that are used or not natural musks. Um, those are, you know, they're traditional like animalic fragrances, but like leather can be animalic. Oud can be animalic. Um, florals like jasmine can be indolic or, you know, animalic that mm -hmm. give off kind of like a musky, dirty, musky vibe. Um, so yeah. Um, yeah, it's musk, like dirty musk, dark musk, you know, that that's how I view animalic. Yeah. yeah. Oh, good one. Amber green. Yeah. It's Amber green. Like yeah. Mm -hmm. That has more of like a salty, yeah. um, feel to it. So yeah. yeah. Honey, yeah. exactly. Honey is also one. Uh, I struggle with animalic honey fragrances sometimes that are too animalic. I like honey, but if it's like a, yeah, I struggle with it sometimes, but that's also one. Mm -hmm. Lots of ingredients can be considered animalic. Right. And then um, for ambergris, is, ambroxan is a synthetic form of it, right? Yeah, but I sometimes don't get animalic from ambroxan. Yeah, me either. Yeah, but I get it from ambergris. Yeah. But when it's ambroxan, not really. But ambergris isn't really like dirty either. It's like more salty to me. Yeah. When I've smelled it, it's like more salty. But it does come from an ant, like the natural does come from, you know, the whale to grow up. <laughs> Have you tried like raw, like ambergris tincture? No. That shit is funky. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I to smell um, I heard yeah. it was a little sweet too. It, it can be. I think it depends on what kind of ambergris. So um, Chad from Aja Corral was mm -hmm. so nice and sent me tinctures. I think mm -hmm. one of them he tinctured himself and the other one he got from somewhere right. of black ambergris and white, mm -hmm. white or gray ambergris. I can't remember. And whoa, the, the white one or the gray one was a bit more tamer, but the black one, child. <laughs> that one. Now, is, it the, is it that the gray one was aged more? I'm not sure. I, I I would say yes, it's an age thing, but I, I didn't ask and I'm not entirely yeah. sure. <laughs> I've heard that it gets like sweeter as it gets stronger. Oh, I can imagine. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I would love to like sit down and smell just like very raw yeah. materials. Like in, you know, it, <laughs> man. Sure. I was yeah, like, original state. Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah. Yes. Is there a peach in it? In bascule? I, yes. so. I think so, right? I think I see. Yes, peach. Mm -hmm. Whoop, whoop, you found me. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, yeah, so, okay, so how do you determine whether notes are for men or for women? No. Yeah, exactly. But, yeah. Exactly. It's, 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 it's subjective, right? So yeah. if you, if like, you know, your experience is uh, whatever, your dad wears flower, florals or whatever, then you're going to have that. Okay, well, men wear florals. Yeah. But most of us, most people have the experience where men wear, you know, traditional cologne kind of fragrances like citrus yeah. and the fougeres and all that stuff so that's what we have in our minds but that's just it it's just that we've been accustomed to that but we've been you know yeah. exactly um yeah animatic honey is enough for you. okay yeah so same thing and broxen to me to us don't, doesn't smell like amber either mm -hmm. it just smells i don't even know it just smells kind of synthetic <laughs> uh which it is so right oh we keep on clicking right. <laughs> Um, yeah, that's a good question. Yeah, what are your, some of your favorite fragrance brands? Well, you know, these questions, you actually don't have to answer them because I was talking to Sarah this morning and I think I'm going to have her on for, uh, a getting to know Ooh. Joe and ask okay. all the personal that's questions and stuff. So <laughs> Sarah, don't fall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not too many. Yeah. Let's save some of these questions for the getting to know Joe. I love that. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Turkey Galveston. <laughs> I know because I live next to Galveston and Michelle's also in Texas. Galveston is the old dingy, dirty beach that we have here. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it, the, the water's brown. Oh, um, you don't go in that water, right? No. Mm. Not unless you want to catch some kind of flesh eating bacteria. Oh, no yeah. thanks. No, no. thanks. No. <laughs> um, yeah, Antaeus is another animalic. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. What's uh? I, mean, I I've never smelled an. I don't think I've smelled an animalic honey fragrance. I don't think um, unless Mario's is one from. Tried, oh, I haven't. Tried, I haven't tried that one. But yeah. have you tried B by Zoologist? Oh yeah, I love B. Okay, so that's considered an animalic. I haven't tried B by uh, Zoologist yet, but I've tried um this one fragrance that I got from Scent Trunk actually, okay. where the, the uh the notes whatever uh i can't speak right now the the materials what is it the <laughs> choice of ingredient or whatever we even know these wax oh, okay <laughs> I, I struggle with that fragrance a lot um mm -hmm. but it's very interesting yeah well bees are stinky if you've actually smelled like a bee so i had a beehive in my wall and i had to have my friend who is a beekeeper had to come and like remove it and yeah. they have like a smell so really like the actual bees have like a little huh. kind of like a musky smell yeah so yeah I, I definitely see that being animalic yeah <laughs> okay 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 um yay Ooh, nice. that one. yeah i like i like zoologist bee i think i i really enjoyed that one yeah i need to try that one because i haven't i haven't tried it uh, let's see. Oh, Chris and Camille or, okay, Camille. Oh, yeah. here. Um, I've been taking night class. Oh yeah. So Ashley, oh. yes, I saw in their video, you guys mentioned that Ashley Kessler does these, uh, online courses. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's, it's a very good fragrance. I think you yeah. may it. I have a feeling, just watch next month. You're going to see me raving about Basco. I feel like I'm going to end up liking it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to play with it more on skin because yeah, fragrances they're wearing a lot. Uh, okay, so you can wear whatever you want. Anything. <laughs> okay, here's one. Um, okay. This is, um, miel de bois. Miel de bois. Uh, kind of a lot of people. Yeah. That kind of translates to. Why? Thank you, Ruth. Did you put a sun? Okay, if you want to enter the giveaway, yes. put a sun or type out sun in the comments. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, what's this one? People are trying to say no one actually use ambergris, but okay. Yeah, and Broxen, yeah, it's possible. Maybe. Maybe. Um, yeah, I've been wanting to try that one too. I actually do like slow dive. I sampled it ages ago because uh, Brian from Nose Nose Nose, Nose Dark. Yeah. he loves that fragrance. So, so I ordered a sample a long time ago and I actually really like that one. Yeah. I didn't find it to be too challenging though, but I, I loved it. It's really nice. Oh, look, we, we both have 
like an animalic honey. Charade is an animalic honey. Cool. Uh, okay, so maybe I do but it also has civet. So yes, so that kind of makes it animalic, maybe. Yeah, yeah. more animalic, maybe. Yeah. And flame and fortune. So yeah. Mm -hmm. And I like. Cool. Yeah. yeah, Jay does not like B. I I think all of us know. That. <laughs> like I like B. It's <laughs> sweet. And it's pretty. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, okay, let's see. Okay, it's another one. I haven't tried this one yet. I actually have a, I should have a sample of it, but I haven't gotten to that one yet. Mellifera. Sun, 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 yeah. Next week. Where's the try? Oh, and Sarah just said something has real amber. Okay, many people okay. would list that. No, because this is fancy. Expensive stuff, man. Yeah, yeah, totally that's understandable. Cool. It's, yeah, very expensive. Okay, so Charade has no civet. I think it has castorium. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, I think it's castorium. Let me oh. double check. Uh, Charade. Where? Yeah. Uh, okay, so not civet castorium. Where am I? Right here. Oh, it has not. It doesn't even have that. Who? It doesn't what? have nothing. It has. Oh, maybe it's the leather then. Yeah. What? Tuberose. Ylang Ylang Styrax. Well, it's so bad. We're saying civet. <laughs> I know. Thank God you're here. There is no <laughs> civet. No castoria. There's no, maybe it's the leather. I, it could be the leather and the honey. She said there's honey. So maybe that's what it is. Yeah. Yes. Ah, okay. It has beeswax. And we, this is why we need you. I know. Uh, Thank oh, you for having us. Yeah. All right, you guys. So if you were scared of civet, forget that. Charade has no civet. Yeah. It's the leather. That's cute. And the pink flax. So interesting, which makes me love it even more. Mm, so good. <laughs> Rudy said, I love when cheap designer fragrances lift less tambour green. Right? <laughs> All right. Okay. Let's see. Okay, next. Do you want to do G clef? Yeah, let's do G clef. G clef. Okay, so I wrote down like a soapy citrus, soft lavender. It's a little smooth, and then as it dries down, it gets bitter on me. Okay. So, so it's like another one that I enjoyed the opening, but then like the dry down was a little yeah. rough. I really like this one. It's a marine, um, a marine fougere, basically. Mm -hmm. uh, and Sarah, I believe, is also the nose behind this one. Let me check before I start making stuff up again. Before we start making things up, like notes. Yeah. <laughs> Go but, notes that aren't there. <laughs> but uh, my nose gets something civity. So that's probably why, like, I, you know, I had it in my mind. Yeah. That there yeah. was civet in there. But it's, there is no civet. I think it's probably the combination of, like, the leather and the beeswax that tricked me. Yeah. I, I think that's... That's fair, absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, it's uh, a salty fougere to me. Uh, it has cologne. I'm seeing it has cologne in it, so mm -hmm. that marine feel. Um, and Sarah is the nose behind this one, and I believe she this was inspired by her 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 grandfather or her father. I can't remember exactly, um, but it is you know like a fresh, sparkly mm -hmm. yeah. with some lavender. It's really, really pleasant. Mm -hmm. And on skin, I, I enjoyed this on skin as well. Yeah. Um, yeah. It opens really nice. Yeah. But this is a, good, a really interesting, unique take on a fougere. Because I, yeah. of the marine quality that you it has. I love fougeres, and this is definitely one to check out. Yeah. It's nice. Yeah. I like the opening in the middle. Yeah. What's oh, that? <laughs> hey, channel 69. Welcome. Hello. Welcome. What you kind of channel is that? Uh, Chanel, Ch Ch Chanel, Ch Chanel, <laughs> uh, Coke, Coke, Hirsch. Yes, okay. smelling notes that aren't there. I missed the name of this one. Oh my goodness, a G clef, G yeah. dot clef, C L E F. So, which is that something to do with music? Oh. I didn't even think about that. Let me read. Oh, so I played the piano for two years. I am nowhere near. It um, says jazz level. inspired, coastal citrus, and woody. Okay. Um, and notes of a complex fougere, maybe Californian, maybe Mediterranean, maybe mm -hmm. both. Bon mm -hmm. bon. So there we go. Mm. I like this one. 
Um, yes, Trident Water. This is the S. Baker collection. We mm -hmm. already talked about the original collection. Yeah, you um, late. This one. You late. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> the S. Baker one. Okay. So, yeah, I, I like G. Clef. I think it's very refreshing. Mm -hmm. And I'm a Fougere fan. And this is also one that I feel like if you like Fougeres and you have a bunch of Fougeres and you get this one, this is not going to smell like the right. ones you have in your collection because of that. I mean, I don't have, I don't think I've smelled a fougere with like that cologne or like, mm -hmm. you know, watery marine aspect. So yeah. Okay. Yeah. Made for her dad. Mm -hmm. Oh, John, see something with the music. Yeah. Very cool. Nice. Yeah. And I can totally see this, like, mm -hmm. when I think it's Mediterranean, Mediterranean, I think I get more of a Mediterranean. I think there's a jazz festival that they have around Europe. Mm -hmm. Is it in Greece or somewhere in the Mediterranean? Mm -hmm. And I can see, like, an older gentleman just, like, sitting yeah. at the shore, Relax. having a nice cocktail. He has, like, a little fedora on, and he's just, like, you know, just enjoying life. You know, he's retired. Yeah content, happy. That sounds like what I want to be. Right? <laughs> I want to be on a beach with fedora, retired and happy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Yeah, definitely. So, let's do about um, symmetry. Oh, that's the one I had in my hand. Perfect. Okay. Um, symmetry is one that I have in a 15 mil. Okay. Yeah, uh, I did like it. Yes, I really like this one. Yeah, it's a little sour. Yeah, I mean, it's a. I think there's some citrus notes in here. <laughs> it's a fresh oud. Yeah, one of the freshest ouds I've ever. Now, do you get a little bit of fecal quality in that oud? I do. Not really. This reminds me. Okay, so I think I've shared this a lot with you guys, mm -hmm. but my um father and a lot of the men in my family uh because of where they're from they come to america and they end up uh selling like african antiques so these are like aged uh sculptures wooden mm -hmm. sculptures wooden statues mm -hmm. and they give off this smell that reminds me of a lot of oud um and i get that with this this reminds me of like i feel like my house Mm. Smell like this. Mm, yeah, I okay. I yeah, because that. we had like, art all over our, you know, my the my childhood home. Um, we had them everywhere, and it's kind of smoky. Yes, and we also used to burn a lot of incense. So this kind of, when I smell an oud like this, it triggers, you know, childhood memories because it's a very familiar smell. And yeah, I definitely can see that. There's not a lot of sweetness. No. It is like a funky, sour, smoky oud. It's nice. Sort of. Yeah, I, I love it. I love this one, which is why I, I picked it to, you know, as my like, citrus, you know. which adds like a little bit of freshness. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay. Uh, I, think I think for some reason I got, I, for I, I keep getting like kind of fecal notes, you know, from the, I don't, it might be from the oud, I don't know, but. It could be. That's the only reason why I wouldn't like probably gravitate towards it. Okay. Yeah, but I do like, really I, like it. It. I remember initially really liking it too. I think mm -hmm. when I did the full wearing is I was like, oh, I don't know. I was on the fence, you know? And I'm still kind of on the fence. So yeah. I'll probably so, have to there's a question here. Um Trident Waters asking, I believe uh it's a synthetic oud. Um Sarah just mentioned this on the live that we that she had on mm -hmm. Oh My Soul, but um these fragrances are, I think, ninety dollars or ninety-five dollars, um, which is a great price, by the way. Great price, but you're not gonna under get, huh? Under a hundred dollars for fifty ml. Yeah, so you're not gonna get like real oud, especially at the amount that is evident in here. Uh, maybe just trace amounts, but this one is like obvious oud. Right. Um, but to me, it's just like a, I don't get a lot of funkiness. Bye. Mm -hmm. yes. Enjoy your day. Oh, well, we'll see you if you come back. Yeah, we'll see. Okay. Um, but yeah, it's synthetic oud, but it's it's done well. The nose behind it is Maurice. Yeah. Sorry, Chris Maurice is the name, who I believe is, I don't want to get this wrong, 
uh, but Sarah said it in her live. Is it Chris? Is it Cabernet? And he goes by Chris Maurice. I could be also making that up. Please correct me. Uh, I think she said Chris Cabernet. But he goes by like an alternate. He like changed his last name. or I can't remember. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, I really like this one. Christian Cabernet. Yeah. Christian Cabernet, okay. Is that what I said? Or did I say something else? Chris Cab. I don't remember now. I'm, I'm like, okay. <laughs> yeah, I know. Chris. I think Cabernet. you did say that. Okay. And yeah, I really. Okay, I think it's blended nicely. I, I really like it. Try to water. I think you will like this one. Mm -hmm. He made many zers off in the Shawnee. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I didn't know that Chris Carbonell was Chris Maurice until um Sarah's live early last week. And that's mm -hmm. when I was like, oh, okay. Okay, yeah. So symmetry, I love symmetry. Um, yeah. I think it's really yeah. beautiful, well blended, fresh take on an oud fragrance. Where are we going to next? How about wait, do we only have one more left? I think so. Oh, interesting. Why did I think we had a lot more left? No, last one then. We did G Clef, we did Bascule, mm -hmm. we did Flame and Fortune, we did Symmetry. Yeah, yeah. last one. one. My Fall favorite. On the matting crown. My favorite, this is a Miguel Matos creation. Yes. My favorite. I mean, it is so good. Like, so like we, we've said before, we're, like I'm not into citrus like that. So when I find a citrus that is unique, it's a dark, dirty citrus for me. Like it's dirty, but it's not dirty in like an animalic way. It's dirty in like an earthy way. There's yeah. Like, there's, is there better in here? I don't have the notes in front. Uh, of me. I can pull it up real quick. Yeah. Um, here's hay. Is there hay? I'm pulling it up. One sec. Um, do -do -do -do. there's Petit Grand. Mm -hmm. So the notes are heliotrope, bergamot, Petit Grand, eucalyptus, black cassis, myrtle, plum, jasmine, cedar, castorium, musk, oak mosque. So there is no vetiver. No. Vetiver vibes. Maybe, um, for mm -hmm. me, so um, I love Far From the Madding Proud. Uh, what I like most about it is that, like, sharp greenness uh -huh. that you get a lot with Petit Grand. It's very like, it's very stemmy. Like imagine going to like a, a bush of flowers. I don't know what flowers, I'm not really, <laughs> I don't know, okay. <laughs> but like you breaking the stems and yeah. you know how sometimes the stems kind of like leave, green, like, kind of like juicy. Yeah, exactly, yeah. like that stuff gets in your fingers and you get that like sharp green, yeah. almost bitter feel. But it smells so fresh. What are the notes again? Um, we have heliotrope, bergamot, petit grain, eucalyptus, black cassis, myrtle. Maybe I need to look up myrtle. Maybe yeah, a lot of that eucalyptus, but yeah, plum, jasmine, cedar, castorium, mm -hmm. musk, and oak moss. Oak moss. Oak moss and castorium. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's very earthy to me. I like I when I described it, I described it as like going out you know, onto a like lawn and like grabbing a piece of, you know, the turf when it comes out with all the roots and the, and the dirt and everything. So it's like grassy and it's like dirty, like, but dirty in, in an earthy way, you know, not like, yeah. not like a super okay. dirty musk, even though there, there is castorium. I don't know. I don't, it doesn't come off too like musky on me. It's yeah. Like, it's not like crazy. I think this is also one that if you like green scents, you would love this one. Um, yeah, to me, it's just like, I feel like I can, like very crisp. It also has this crispness and maybe it's that eucalyptus, I don't know, but it's very crisp, green, clean, fresh, just natural. I, th I like this one too. I want- Fresh, I want it's a dirty freshy. <laughs> yeah, like an earthy fresh. Yeah. Yeah, like, like very natural, like you're in a, like a like a wet, Mm -hmm. um, like I don't want to say meadow, but kind of like a field, just a field, a field, yeah. yeah. But it's it's very refreshing as well, and I think that the, the um, eucalyptus has a lot to do with that. Um, Did you put the sun? <laughs> uh, yeah, make sure you put the sun. You can put it again. Uh, oh, Katy's here. Hi, Katy. Welcome. Hi. Thank you for coming by. 
Um, let's see. Yeah, see, memories. It, it, it evokes different kinds of memories for people. <laughs> Someone's writing a book. Oh, D'Angelo, because D'Angelo has also very good knowledge on fragrance. So I think that's what they're referring to. Very cool. We have, I don't know if I'm saying this right, but Guan Jones. Oh, welcome, welcome, welcome. We're coming down to the last one. It's far from the matting crowd. Yeah. Which mm -hmm. owner, does it have what the inspiration is? Uh, let me see. The nose behind this one is, we said Miguel Montos. It yeah. says, the lightest juice, warm as summer, fresh mm -hmm. as spring, a romantic picnic in the countryside, mm -hmm. botanics, uh, the de de deciduous fruits, wildflowers, and woods, meadows. Meadows. Yeah, it is very earthy, fresh and earthy. Mm. It's nice. It's Why really did nice. I get this one? No, I'm like, it dries down so beautiful. Like it dries down a little bit smoky on me. It's so nice. Yeah. Yeah. My favorite part of this is the dry down. So, and I'm okay. like, that's how I like my fragrances. I, I don't mind if they start out a little crazy, but I want yeah. them to dry down like beautiful. Yeah, so. I mean, that's the part that lasts the longest. So right. I totally get that. Um, yeah, I wore this this morning um, before my shower. Mm -hmm. I had my coffee and just that opening to me, I just. Yeah, yeah. It's so nice. like. Elliptus. It's kind of uh, transportive. I feel like I'm just like, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. um, just like. Yeah, a lot of things are teleported, teleported to a a very <laughs> bright sunny day mm -hmm. with like fresh dew in the grass and just like oh, it's so nice. It's so nice. I feel you. Uh, yeah, sounds it is. It is. It's good. Okay, mm -hmm. it's good. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you huh. need to. Well, hopefully, you win the sample set and you get to explore them. Um, mm -hmm. One thing that I want to mention mm -hmm. that Sarah's doing this Valentine's Day, she has this really cool promotion where you can gift someone a discovery set. Mm -hmm. um, you can choose one. You can either choose the Extract de Parfum, which are the first eight that we talked about, or the EDP, which is from the S. Baker collection. So you can choose right. a sample set of one of them mm -hmm. to send to a person, and it comes with a voucher for a full bottle. So whoever you send it to has time to explore the samples and decide which one of cool. that they like the most. And they just let Sarah and her team know mm -hmm. and they'll be shipped a full bottle. And I think that's really great for this, you know, yeah, not just not just Valentine's, but like, a, you know, in the birthday, any, 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 any holiday, any like gifting holiday. I think yeah. this works okay. really well. Yeah, I think these are definitely some that you have to like try them all and see which one's for you, kind of thing. Absolutely, you know? and it's not they're not none. Of, I wouldn't recommend blind buying anything, but especially with artistic fragrances like these that are so complex that change so much, like from one wearing to another. Like you really want to spend some time with them. Yes. Oh yeah. Okay. And that's also I didn't mention it comes with like well, isn't a gift it's going to be gifted really nicely. It comes with uh, depending on which collection you get, it's going to come with like a card. Um, yeah, it's, it's, I think it's a good one. Hmm? What? For what? I, did I agree to something that I, you may have, what, what happened? <laughs> uh, no, Daphne, it's, uh, I think internationally kind yeah, of, I think as long um, as she can ship it to you, as long as you don't live anywhere crazy. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yes, for people who want to give perfume as a gift but don't know what they'll like. Yes, mm -hmm. just give you, you, let them decide. <laughs> you don't have to think, yeah. like, oh, they like this, and then, let them decide. So, yeah, it, it, it takes all the thinking out of it for the yeah. gift giver. Yeah. Um, yes, it's only for, for Valentine's Day, which um, is Sunday. That's crazy, oh yeah, which is why we decided to do this live this uh Sunday instead of next Sunday because you did right. one last week. Mm -hmm. You know, you're a married woman, you know, <laughs> you might have plans for Valentine's Day. Your girl's gonna be sitting here watching Netflix, you know, <laughs> hanging with the fam. <laughs> yeah, so there will be no live next week. But yeah. Yeah, so no live next week for Valentine's Day. You guys enjoy it. Oh today's a super bowl as well, isn't it? I don't know about that stuff, man. I don't know. Wow. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> yes. 
only USA and UK for Valentine's special. Yeah. Okay. Due to the exactly. double shipping. Got it. Oh, sorry, Daphne. Sorry. <laughs> or just let them know which one you want because you have experience with some of them and just mm -hmm. tell them why you want. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, I think that is it. Anything else we want to mention about the- um, Yeah, Stormy will keep you company. Yeah, yeah, she's right here sleeping. Aww. So yeah. she's not doing much, okay? She's just yeah. napping like she always yeah. does. If you want to enter the giveaway, put a sun in the comments. We're gonna be on for another maybe minute or two. We'll yeah, see. Come we'll, minute. Hopefully we don't go off on different tangents, we'll see. Sarah, yeah, thank you so, so much for just staying through the whole thing. It's been two, two hours and you're still here. You're amazing. Thank you. Thank you for staying on and answering questions. That's awesome. Yes. And also, again, for the giveaway, uh, we couldn't do it without you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. I shouldn't do that. <laughs> um, yeah. So I'm actually curious. Well, I guess this can be another question. It is awesome. I'll ask her another another. Um, when we do our live, I ask her a bunch of questions. Yeah, uh, we'll be stuck here forever. Um, yeah, so I want to know: is there anything? Is there anything else? Uh, stay tuned, guys. We have. Um, I got my olfactum samples, so you know, we can do a little bit of that next time. Uh, oh yeah, I think yeah, that's who we have next, right? Is olfactum. We can do that next. Yes, I got my yeah. samples and I did the first impressions uh, a couple of days ago, mm -hmm. and I'm so excited to yeah. give them a good wearing on my skin. Yeah. Um, he has also agreed to a little gift. Yeah. For so, our, so stay tuned for that. We never yeah. want like we never want to make anybody feel like they have to do any of this. So, but it's always yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it it helps a lot too. It's, it's I mean it's just yeah it's nice right. It's yeah. nice. Oh, anyway, look who's here. Hi, <laughs> hubby. <laughs> For whole Sunday, yeah. Is that you? Oh, yeah, that is me. Or it has to be you. Oh, like, so who's that lady? Ago. That was so long ago. Yes, I can't pre, I, I don't even life. know. I think that's pre. No, I think I had my first daughter there. Okay. <laughs> that's such an old picture. <laughs> it's a thank, you, thank you. Thank you. Do you want to talk about anything else um, before we head out? Hi, good son. Oh, look at you. Nice. Got oh. your son. <laughs> oh, you barely made it, girl. We're about to wrap it up. <laughs> yeah, so in the next couple days, you know, we'll get the names together and then we'll do, you know, like we have been doing yeah. uh, lately we'll and picking you. We will you find you wherever you are. You. Yes. Thankfully, mm -hmm. like, you know, luckily we haven't had issues with finding people. So no. I, my first giveaway that I did, the first winner, I, I never heard from them again. And I tried looking, I couldn't find them on Instagram. There was a, it was a YouTube winner and I just, I, I couldn't reach them. So I had to pick another one. Oh my gosh. I'm muted. <laughs> Ooh, wait, 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 wait. Ooh, yes. <sighs> nice. Yeah. Vintage Miss Dior is everything. Let everything. Us, let us know. Okay. Let That's us know. That's definitely what real perfume yeah. is supposed to smell like. Yes. That yeah. I love that one. I think I showed, yeah, I showed off part of my vintage stuff. Mm -hmm. that, but yeah, I'm gonna yeah, I'll 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 share that in another thing because it's too much. <laughs> anyway, yeah, thanks again, guys, for joining thanks us. For joining it was us. A blast. Um that was a lot of fun. It yeah. didn't take us too long. It only took us two hours and two yeah, minutes. Yeah, I thought this would, would have taken us like way longer. Yeah. But also, last time we did a live, I think we rambled about other stuff. We started talking about right. good butt swabs. And, and Oh, God, let's yeah. not start that again. <laughs> but I did get this and I wanted to show you. Which yes, I I'm wearing it too. Yeah. Ooh, oh, I don't know. Mine is, where's mine? Oh. Yeah, I'm wearing the Defiance. On my eyeballs, how look how pretty! Mm -hmm. Oh, nice! It's right? like really natural, sparkly. It is. It's good for like every day. It's so yeah. nice. The Auric one, I go. I, cool. I don't know if Michelle is still here, but we both, me and Michelle, like I consider Michelle my my shade twin. Yeah. Um, so we both decided to get Goldstone, which mm -hmm. ended up being a little bit light. Okay. Because it's so it's short. Good. I Who think it's above that, so darker. Yeah, right? yeah exactly. Which yeah, I think it's so, awesome that they have like a good like shade range. Yeah, yeah. So mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna. I think we're both. I know she's definitely gonna get a darker shade. Mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna play with it a bit more before I get a darker shade, but I'm pretty sure I will end up getting a darker shade. Yeah. But I like mixing it with my foundation, so I mixed it today with my Mac body face and body, 
Oh, extra dewy stuff. Very natural. Dewy. Yeah. Not too much. Yeah, oh. good, good. What did I mix it with? My uh, my Laura Mercier. Last night I mixed it with my Pat McGrath. But okay. I, oh, I'm sure that will be really nice. Yeah. Yeah, I think so too. Thank you. We hit them. We hit them all. You know, I had two Pat McGrath foundations, and I left them in Scotland. Mm -hmm. I um, and it breaks my heart every time. Somebody's coming in. <gasps> Wait, what? <gasps> oh! Oh, she just woke up. Oh, oh that hi. She's what's like, going on. She's We're getting ready to go. She say hi. Oh boy, she might cry. So okay, okay. Oh my gosh, we're we're gonna go. Do you yeah, screw with your hair? It. Yeah, that's exactly what I use, man. I just no. twirl it in, you know, like this. It, it, it's like a viral. It TikTok keeps popping, you know. It's popping, you know? <laughs> it no, is. Lady who oh my gosh! Are you instead, of, instead of using like got to be glue, she ended up using mm -hmm. gorilla glue, and mm -hmm. her hair was literally like cement on her head, like slick oh. cement. And she says she washed it. She and she washed it on the camera, and it just like stuck. Mm -hmm. um, uh, yeah, I could just imagine. Yeah, it, it was crazy. Oh, anyway, I know you have to go. Um, Say hi, Amina. Yeah, we're gonna have a temper tantrum soon. So, yeah. Hi, okay. you guys. thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Yes, you just woke up from a nap. That's why her hair looks crazy. It's like he didn't put gorilla glue on it. She's just <laughs> this is bedhead. <laughs> to be continued. Thank yes. you. Thank yes. you. There is no gorilla snatch. Oh god. Yeah, it was it was terrible. Yeah, Kia. I'm gonna have to look yeah. that up. That's hysterical. Thank yeah. you guys so much for coming. Thank you, Sarah, for staying. Thank you for the, you know, giveaway thing. I can't wait to announce the winners. Yes. I'm excited. Bye, you guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.